Chapter 376, Chores After cleaning the battlefield, everyone took advantage of this opportunity to hold a grand party. It is much more lively than the coronation banquet previously designed. Perhaps because of the experience of fighting side by side, the contradiction between the dwarf and the elves has also become more relaxed. After the three-day celebration, everyone left. The elves left Legola's squad as their envoys when they left. From the conversation of the elves, Ryan knew that after the destruction of the Supreme Ring, the necromancer of Dolgo also disappeared, so that the spiders in the dark jungle did not fill up as quickly as they used to. They hoped to launch a counterattack to recover Morrance, previously known as Dolgo. Lean said that as an ally, he was willing to join the elves to recover the war in Dolgo, as long as they can notify one month in advance. Farewell to the elves and dwarves, Gandalf also came to the house and told Ryan that he was leaving Middle-earth. But since Ryan was allowed to go to our mentor, they still had a chance to see you in the days to come. At the noon private farewell party, Gandalf handed Ryan a cluster of white flames. Here he has all the memories of the battle he experienced in China and Turkey for about 2,000 years, which can provide Ryan with sufficient combat experience. As for his magic, Aluvita's gift to Lane already contained this knowledge. After watching Ryan absorb the flames, Gandalf smiled and gave the sword to his waist. This sword has a beautiful scabbard and a hilt inlaid with gems, and the sword is engraved with elven words. Enemy fencing. Looking at the spell on the sword, Ryan, who had studied elven writing before, recognized the identity of the sword. Do you know this sword? That's great. When I came with those dwarves, I met a few ogren monsters. I used the sunlight to turn them into stones and found the sword in a nest. Originally I thought I may use it in later battles, but I did not expect my mission in Middle-earth to end with your help. So I gave it to you because I guess it will not be used for a long time in the future you have a sword. But you should need it. Gandalf said after hearing Ryan's exclamation. Thank you so much. Ryan took over the sword. He was having a headache and did not have a weapon at his disposal. This was the right time for the sword. With this sword, Ryan does not need to use a powerful magic to consume a weapon. After sending Gandalf away, Ryan spent a whole year in the Valley City digesting the knowledge given by Luvita. At the same time, he returned to his hometown with a continuous letter to discuss the content of the upcoming Ningfu magic book. Ryan also learned from the letter that he became a leader after returning to his hometown, and the group's subordinates were called by him. With the help of Ryan giving away their plants, they acquired a solid base in Anduin Canyon. Under the guidance of this transformer, Ryan also successfully completed the animal transformation. It can be turned into a panda with a huge magical defense, as big as a giant grizzly bear. Because of alchemy, Lane now has enough life to stay in other worlds for a long period of time to summarize various gains. A year later, River Valley City was completely on track. Ryan also gave Bard all the things and returned to the gift shop. The biggest gain this time was the offset point. Because he flipped the table before and completely changed the direction of the whole story, this time he obtained an unprecedented 126 offset points. At the same time, a large amount of knowledge is all obtained through soul installation and self-learning, so he only consumed 30 offset points and completely mastered the magic props production technology of elves. The events in the world of the Lord of the Rings fell behind, and Ryan took care of the chores in other worlds. First of all, he provided a batch of alchemy potions to the world of plants versus zombies to help them cultivate a new batch of special plants. Secondly, attended the opening ceremony of the Philadelphia to Richmond Railway in the Radiant World, which represents that the Federation has established a foothold in the northeastern United States. By the way, they sent them a lot of biological samples about dragons that they had requested before, things like dragon blood, dragon scales, and dragon dung. Finally, Ryan went to the world of Song of Ice and Fire to deal with government affairs. Because this world is the one with the deepest penetration of his power and the shortest contact time, there are many things to deal with. For example, a lot of government affairs that others can't make decisions, and then for example, the reception of some important guests. The most important guest recently was Caitlin Tully, the wife of the Winter City from the northern border of Westeros. She brought her son Bran to seek medical treatment because she could not rest assured of the child. Area and Rickon. After Bran was injured and stabbed, she went to Junlin to inform Ed. However, when she was about to return to the north, she happened to meet the merchant fleet sent by Ryan at the dock. After hearing that there is a in-water amethyst city that can cure all diseases, even grayscale disease, which is considered terminally ill, can be cured. She decided to take her son to seek medical treatment in Essos, urged her to make this decision, and Mormon Liana of Bear Island was there too. Don't worry about any problems. In this case, she took a few young children to travel across the sea. Originally she wanted to take Sansa, but at this time Sansa was very yearning for the court life of King's Landing, and even more so that she would be engaged to the handsome Prince Joffrey. Excitement so rejected the mother's request. After arriving at Amethyst City, Ryan and Rose Crystal were not there, but she also saw that the people here can indeed cure grey squamous disease and a series of other diseases considered to be terminally ill in Weaslot. So and quietly stayed in Amethyst City and waited for their return. Soon, 
they were attracted to the modern side of the city, especially area, when they discovered that the country allowed women to choose their profession freely, and even became a soldier when they were strong enough, overjoyed to participate in professional warrior training courses to learn sword fighting, fighting and shooting. Okay, take off your clothes. I want to check where you fell. After dealing with government affairs, Ryan took Rose Crystal to meet Bran mother and son in the Crystal Temple while standing beside there a Lapagoda and several priests who came to observe and learn. Bran saw a lot of people watching and felt a little shy. Fortunately, the injured part was exposed under the comfort of his mother. Comminuted fracture of the lumbar spine joint. Ryan soon determined where the injury was. Seriously, even if it was placed before the crossing, the possibility of the wounded person standing up again was very low. www.mtlnovel.com But fortunately with the help of magic, everything is much simpler. Ryan took out a syringe containing a green-looking medicine. He turned around and said to the priests who observed, in this disease, the bone erosion water must be injected into the affected area to remove the deformed and broken bones. Then, the rigid muscles are used to harden the local muscles to support the body. Shengiling promotes the growth of bones and finally restores muscles with recovery water. He finished injecting bone erosion water into Bran's waist, and then said to Mrs. Dulai, I have a way to get him back to normal, but it takes more than half a year. These potions are not instant works. Thank you. This is already fine. I'm willing to wait another half a year. But I'm fine, anyway. She was telling the truth, and the Westeros continent is still relatively calm. As the wife and underage of the Stark family children, they are really fine for half a year. After arranging these people, Ryan went to the most important world, the world of the Rose Girl, to find Teacher Luo Zen. Of course, the first thing to see Teacher Luo Zen is to give 10 kilograms of mithril as a gift. The teacher likes this gift very much because in his world this kind of magic metal has no effect so excellent. It is a pity that as long as it is not the world where Ryan himself or his soul contract is located, the time flow speed of other worlds is consistent with the main world of Harry Potter. Therefore, Mr. Luo Zen, who had received the unending fire for less than an hour, had not yet researched anything. In this case, Ryan could only stay at Mr. Luo Zen's house with Rose Crystal for the time being. Chapter 377, Naya. I finally figured it out. After living in Luo Zen's house for a month, Ryan, Luo Zen and Alice finally figured out the principle of the unending fire in the laboratory. Of course, Alice is only here to gain insight in this process. She has not yet reached the level to study this. In short, this is a core of immortal power, equivalent to our key to truth, and it is the unique form of soul sublimation in that world. The biggest feature is that the unending fire will merge with the soul of the owner, and then for them the flesh is just a skin sack. The real body is the soul fused with the indestructible fire. Even if they lose their flesh, their souls can be reborn with the help of this flame. Unlike our key to truth, we have to rely on the flesh before we reach a certain height. Existence, once the flesh is destroyed, the key to truth will be destroyed accordingly. Liu Ozen explained Ryan and Alice in a steady tone. Besides this, the original power from the world can be easily fused with the owner to make them immortal, without having to undergo arduous practice like ours. Even they can put this to immortal power. Passed on to the next generation. Their children will have this kind of unending fire after birth. What about defects? Alice asked. This kind of power far beyond the same level cannot be flawless. After hearing this sentence, Luo Zen smiled comfortably. I'm glad to see that you discovered this. Not being blinded by the benefits in front of you. Controlling your inner greed is the basic quality of an alchemist. Yes, the unending fire does have its problems. On the one hand, this belongs to the original power of a certain world. It also means that most of the power of the indestructible fire can only be operated normally in that world. I think this immortal power will be seriously weakened in other worlds. On the other hand, the power of the indestructible fire is already determined after it is created. As Ryan said, your indestructible fire is of Vera level, then your power limit is Vera. You're not if the fire of extinction is of the Maya level, then no matter how hard you try, you will not exceed Maya to become Vera. One of the most important aspects is that this power can only be granted directly or indirectly by the original of that world, and as alchemists we are people who obtain the authority of the gods from mortal bodies. This power that is completely inconsistent with our path once we obtaining words does not increase our strength, but puts us in danger. So you must not be enchanted by those seemingly easy to obtain powers, lose your judgment, and then put yourself in danger. You owes and took this opportunity to teach Ryan and Alice. Ryan and Alice listened carefully to teach Liu Ozen's teaching, and nodded thoughtfully from time to time when they heard the key content. After the end of the teaching, under the guidance of teacher Liu Ozen, Ryan is going to make a ring for himself. This was the final decision that Ryan made after gaining a lot of knowledge and experience in the world of the Lord of the Rings. Different from his previous imagination, Gandalf's experience tells Ryan that holding a stick and a sword is not the best. The real way to fully exert your strength is to minimize the spellcasting items to free up your hands and then use melee weapons according to your own habits. After all, 
The cane is not a tool for melee combat. There is no mace or axe in melee combat. The core of this ring is the indestructible fire. As a reward for the valuable knowledge brought by Ryan this time, teacher Liu Ozen used a piece of rose relic to seal and solidify this undying fire. Lion decided to use this egg-shaped red gem with an immortal flame inside as the ring of the Lord of the Rings. The ring body of ring was cast with mithril. Using the casting technique of the three rings of elves, Ryan felt that the only flaw was that the appearance was a bit too delicate and beautiful, and outsiders who didn't understand would think it was a female ring in the future. After the ring and gems are ready, the most critical molding begins. After lighting up a giant forging formation in the middle of the laboratory, Ryan poured several liters of previously prepared silver into the forging formation. Under the influence of magic, the sky silver poured into the smelter ray gathered like alive to the center of the magic circle, then gradually floated into the air under the influence of magic, and finally formed a football-sized ball. A. Vilia Ryan began to recite the mantra in Kenya, and at the same time put the fragments of the Virgin Mary, the size of the peanut rose sealed with the indestructible fire, and the previously cast ring into the ball formed by the sky silver. With the infusion of magic power and the recitation of magic spells, countless bright sesame-sized runes appeared on the ball formed by the sky silver. Afterwards, these runes gathered and decomposed each other, forming one big or small mysterious rune. Each exposed rune contains different powers, and even simply putting these runes that can affect the spirit of ordinary people. Time is passing slowly, the production process is also advancing step by step, and the pressure from the alchemy array is also increasing. Fortunately, Teacher Luo Zen released a blood red shield at this time to shield Ryan from the pressure from the magic circle, so that Ryan can devote himself to the production of this magic ring. When the last spell was pronounced, all the runes lost their color instantly. The sky silver ball in the middle of the alchemy formation returned to its original state. But soon, the ball vibrated at an extremely high frequency. The ball slowly shrank like a deflated balloon during the shock. Finally, all the sky silver disappeared leaving only a dazzling golden light cluster flying above the alchemy array. It was at this moment that everyone present heard a clear sound of ding from his soul. When the echo of the sound dissipated, the golden light mass at the center of the alchemy disappeared instantly, as if it had never appeared. Only a silver ring with red gems remained in the magic circle. Congratulations, your ring is perfect. After closing the magic barrier, teacher Luo Zen closed his eyes and communicated with each other for a while. Then he opened his eyes and said to Ryan with a smile. Ryan walked into the formation and picked up the ring and dripped a drop of blood on it. Then he put it on his hand and began to communicate with the ring. He found that this ring could perfectly replace the role of the wand. In addition, this ring also comes with powerful defense capabilities, whether it is spiritual, magic, or physical attacks. This ring can provide corresponding protection www.mtlnovel.com The most important what's more, the indestructible fire that is the core of the ring can resist the rules of death contained in the death spell. This gave Ryan another chance of winning in the face of Voldemort. Of course everything is balanced, this ring itself has no attack power. On the one hand, the craftsmanship of this ring mainly comes from elves, so like the three elves, it is more inclined to protect rather than attack. On the other hand, the user of the ring is Ryan himself. The ring that is good at defense can make up for his weakness in battle. After watching Ryan check the ring, Luo Zen smiled and said to him, Give it a name. The power of this ring is already worthy of a special name. Naya, I call it Naya. Lane named the ring after Gandalf's hand. On the one hand is to commemorate the origin of this ring. On the other hand, it shows that the power of this ring comes from the indestructible fire. When Ryan pronounced the name, the ring flashed. Then the word Naya in Kenya appeared on the inside of the ring. This name matches your ring. Liu Ozen said happily. I am very happy to see my students take a step forward on the road to mastering the truth. A few days later. Ryan stayed at Liu Zen's house to learn to master the ring and also to do other things, when he felt that his goal had been almost completed. I chose to say goodbye to teacher Liu Zen and return to the Wanji grocery store. Of course, Rose Crystal was temporarily here because she planned to spend more time with her little sisters. Chapter 378, Ring After seeing the green ceiling on the green background in room 12 of Grimald Place again, Ryan had a feeling of being indifferent. This time he spent more than a year in other worlds but the pointer on the clock had just passed an hour after returning. After washing his face in the bathroom, Ryan sat back on the bed and began to meditate. Fortunately, as his strength level rises, there are fewer and fewer traces of time. This year and a half did not leave many traces of his time, so there is no need to worry about what is wrong with others. The same is true, and the next morning, almost no one could see that Ryan had left. Only Hermione glanced suspiciously at Ryan and seemed to think of something, and then lowered her head to eat her breakfast. Sure enough, even if Ryan had covered up, most people could not see their changes, but in the face of Hermione who knew part of the details and care, he still missed the bottom. So at noon on that day, Hermione found an opportunity to ask Ryan. After knowing what Ryan did, he was amazed by the experience that Ryan described. After all, there is also a book by Father Tolkien in this world, 
and Hermione naturally knows what Ryanair's journey to destroy the Lord of the Rings is like. This is Gandalf's sword. In the process of telling, Ryan took out the enemy fencing as evidence. Hermione touched the sword curiously. Yes, he gave me this sword, because his mission in Middle-earth is over. Lane said how the sword got into his hand. It's an epic journey, but unfortunately there is no way to tell everyone. Hermione said with regret after listening. Yeah, this thing is for you, so you can free up one more hand in the battle. Ryan said after watching the previous adventure. Watching Hermione suddenly said, because he remembered that Hermione also learned fighting techniques from him at this time, if he could free up a hand holding a wand, his combat ability would definitely improve. He took something out of his pocket and handed it to Hermione. I just made it before I came back. It may not fit your finger, try it. If the size is not right, I can change it now. It was a ring, which shone with warm luster under the sunlight outside the window. The silver ring had a complicated pattern on it and a small red gem was inlaid on it. This ring was completed by Ryan at Teacher Leo's N.S. home. The material comes from the remaining material of his ring. The ring was cast from the same batch of mitral silver and the mold at the same time, and the red gem above is the one from Ryan S. The remnants of the processing of the fragments of the virgin rose inlaid on the ring are only the size of green beans. Finally, Ryan also injected an indestructible fire the size of a needle into it. Hermione couldn't help but see that Ryan had a ring in his hand. This is made by my smelting mithril. It has a certain defensive effect on magical spirit and physical attacks, and can also cast spells instead of your magic wand. It is not suitable for you to put it on first, because it is still the last step. The size is not suitable and can be modified. Hermione hesitated and took the ring and put it on the index finger of his right hand. Very suitable. Hermione whispered her head down. If anyone could see her face. She could see that her face was now as red as a ripe apple, or even steaming. Well, let's complete the last step, fusion. After that, Ryan took out a silver knife with zigzag runes on it and handed it to Hermione. What should I do? Hermione asked after lowering her head and taking the knife. Cut a knife in your hand and drip blood onto the gemstone, and you will be able to fully grasp the ring and manipulate the power of the ring. Ryan didn't notice the change in Hermione's complexion, he said it straightforwardly how to use the ring. Hermione gritted her teeth, raised her knife and took a deep breath then gently swiped on the little finger of her left hand. A few drops of blood came out of the wound on her fingertip, and then she rubbed her little finger on the ring gem in her right hand. As soon as blood touched the gemstone, the silver ring showed blood-colored elven text. This wonderful thing has never been seen by Hermione. After the red text disappeared, Hermione felt a series of messages come into her mind. After receiving this information, Hermione looked at Ryan and said, This ring that resists three unforgivable spells once a day is too expensive to be received. She said that she extended her left hand to her right index finger and tried to remove the ring. But Ryan leaned over and reached out and held her left hand, a movement that made Hermione's face redder. You know that I am an alchemist, and I know how much wealth I have. So these things are not so valuable to me, you should accept them. Besides, this ring has already recognized you as the master, and other people take it and use it. No way. Okay, I have accepted this ring. Please let me go. Hermione stopped struggling and looked at Ryan. Ryan found that his posture was a bit wrong at this time, as if it was too ambiguous. So he quickly retracted his hand and sat back to his original position. I will wear this ring, but when you want to take it back, just take it from me. Finally Hermione said. This answer is very consistent with her character. So Ryan nodded and agreed with her. In the bright living room, Hermione began to try to cast magic with the ring. Ryan guided him on the side. Fortunately, the use of the ring is not much different from the magic wand. It only took more than half an hour for Hermione to master the use of the ring. After a coma red light smashed the wooden board in Ryan's hands, the two decided to rest for a while before continuing. Cleese's craft is getting better and better. The gap between the exercises www.mtlnovel.com Ryan said, eating the cream cookies just sent from the table. It was just a knock before, so the craft was abandoned. Hermione also took a cookie and put it in her mouth. Now, after slowly recovering, it will naturally reflect the heritage of a long-term pure-blood wizard family. And Cleech is younger than expected, at most equivalent to the wizard's 50 or 60 years old. Looking at the old just before is because it's too sad, so it looks a little old. Speaking of this, Hermione seemed to think of something and asked, Well, why did you give me my ring this time, not a bracelet or a necklace or something? Because the best magic item in that world is a ring. I worry about not achieving the best results. If you want to do it, then you must do the best. Lane said honestly. Oh. Hermione's complexion became a little complicated, but she soon recovered. But how can this expensive ring seem to be explained to others? There is no need to explain that after this ring is recognized, no one can see it except yourself and the person wearing the ring. That's good. Hermione looked relieved. She is not the kind of girl who likes to show off so she does not want her ring to be seen by too many people. Now Ryan's answer just met her expectations. At around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Ryan was called by the twins to go to the Weasley joke shop to deal with some things. Hermione took them to the door, went to diagonally and Ryan didn't see it, 
After he was shown away by the twins with his entourage, Hermione changed the ring to the ring finger of her left hand. Chapter 379, Plan After Ryan returned to Twelve Grimauld Place, he saw Hermione writing a letter. This letter is for, it's for Harry, but Dumbledore won't let us tell him what happened in the magic world. Even on his birthday, I can only send a gift with a greeting card, I, I don't think he would want to receive this. Damn, I forgot Harry's birthday. Ryan reacted suddenly. In those days I was busy with the production of a number of defensive bracelets, and I forgot about this matter. Don't worry, Hermione said. When you were busy in front of the workbench, I asked if you would like to send Harry a gift for you. You agreed directly, so I have sent you your copy together. I forgot, I was really busy and fainted a while ago. After all, it was more than a year ago for Ryan, and it was natural to remember. Thank you. Hermione, if not for you this time I would definitely be in a hurry. No, it's nothing. Since everyone is so busy, I also came up with my own power. Here, Hermione reversed the topic a little stiffly. The principal didn't let us send a letter to Harry, saying he was worried that the owl might be robbed halfway. But I think the core problem is that Harry can see the mysterious man's every move, and Dumbledore is worried that the mysterious man will pass through in reverse lease or our plan. Lane's disapproving expression. I think Dumbledore's method of isolating Harry directly from the magic world is wrong. Seeing Hermione want to refute, Ryan went on to say, It is true that the principal is a great man, but it does not mean that everything is correct. As far as I know, Dumbledore had probably told Harry about him last time. The connection with the mysterious man. But what he said was a little vague, which made Harry not very clear about what happened to him. Speaking here, Ryan shrugged. The principal may refuse to tell Harry the news for his own reasons, but in view of the strength of the mysterious man, I worry that one day he will find the connection between Harry and his soul, so mysterious it is very likely that people will trap Harry by this. In this case, Harry who is ignorant is very likely to fall into the trap on impulse. After all, the mysterious man is good at grasping the weakness of people, countless powerful wizards of that era. It's all taken for granted. I don't think Harry can see through the mysterious man's conspiracy. You are right. After listening to Ryan's analysis, Hermione also thought of another problem. The headmaster always wanted to protect Harry out of love for the students, but he was too old and had forgotten the feeling of being young. He did not take into account that Harry stayed at the Dursleys who hated him this month. Its self-emotions are bad. If we don't receive any news from us at this time, he will probably have a feeling of being abandoned by the whole world. In this case, he who accumulates too many negative emotions should be more easily manipulated by the mysterious person. Let the situation go to a worse place. After speaking, Hermione left the quill agitatedly. Then what should we do? We can't directly violate Dumbledore's ban. Direct violation of the ban is indeed not good, and Professor Dumbledore is also very busy recently. It is estimated that there is not much time to care about these issues. Lay nodded. However, we can use some roundabout methods, such as going directly to Harry. Anyway. The principal just forbids us to write to Harry about the latest things, and it doesn't forbid us to find him. You are exploiting holes, but now you only have this trick. Hermione nodded, thinking a little helplessly. The question is how do we pass? Can't tell everyone that we are going to find Harry. This is simple. Let me solve it. Lane said vowedly. I have a way for us to have a fair past. The way to put it bluntly is also very simple. Ryan just expressed to Mrs. Weasley that she needed to go out to buy some materials and, by the way, wanted to go out with Hermione. Mrs. Weasley thought about it and agreed quickly. Just ask the two to tell her before going out, try to rush back before the sun goes down. Just say that. Ron applied to his mother for a long time without my permission. As far as I know Ryan can now take her with her. Hermione looked at him in surprise. Witches are like this. Power is supreme. I can be licensed because my role as an alchemist here is no less than that of other adult wizards so they naturally treat me as an adult. This cannot be like a child the same has been set up for me. The same is true of the Weasley twins. They already have their own jobs, and Mrs. Weasley will naturally not lock them in the house all day. Ryan explained the problem to Hermione. So it's your light that my minor can go out? Hermione said with a grin, and at the same time naughtily made a skirt ceremony. Don't be kidding. I guess at least one third of Death Eaters or members of the Order of the Phoenix are not your opponents. Ryan raised his eyebrows. Okay. Get ready. We will go to Diagon Alley twice in two days. Then we will go to Harry's side together next week. For the rest of the week, Ryan and Hermione went out twice, each time bringing a lot of materials back from Diagon Alley. Because of this, Dumbledore also asked Ryan once to tell him that the money for these materials could be reimbursed from him. However, Ryan rejected his good intentions. He told Dumbledore that he charged for finished products, which would avoid the Phoenix Society from taking the risk of refining failure. In fact, the real reason is that Ryan himself has a high success rate when refining these low-level props www.mtlnovel.com if he reimburses the cost of materials. He feels embarrassed to ask for a higher price for his wages later, so he's simply selling finished products to avoid that kind of entanglement. After all, through his calculation, if you directly sell finished products, you will earn a little more than reimbursement of raw material costs plus processing fees.
has to say that the wealth accumulated by great wizards like Dumbledore in more than 100 lives reached an alarming number. Even if Ryan makes a price for what he makes is only 70% or 80% of the price on the market. The price of making alchemy products is still very expensive. But Dumbledore swept the alchemy products directly with a big wave of his own money. When the time came to August, most of the people of the Phoenix Society went to dinner for Ryan and Hermione after dinner in the afternoon before slowly returning to them. When Ryan and Hermione took the time to take a ride to Surrey in West London in the afternoon, Luzon Road in Xiohuagin District. After coming out of the Broken Cauldron Bar, Ryan called a taxi to Aunt Harry's house and rushed over. Since his aunt's family did not like everything related to magic, Ryan tried their best to make yourself look less like a wizard. Fortunately, both of them are from Mulls, so there will be no mistakes in dressing up. Hopefully we will make Harry happy this time. Hermione said after getting in the car. It must be unbearable to live in a hostile environment for him, but he has to live there. Think of it like this Harry should have had a bad time in the last month. This is why we are going to visit him. Lane said. Otherwise I worry that he will really go crazy. Chapter 380. Good evening, Harry. At 8.30 in the evening, Ryan and Hermione's taxi arrived at Xiohuagin district. They should have arrived half an hour ago but unfortunately they encountered traffic jams that are common in big cities. We just need to go back before 10.30 in the evening. Fortunately, you tell Mrs. Weasley that there is a small night fair. Let her allow us to stay outside for a while, Hermione said to Lane on the sidewalk. Actually there is a fair, but I have already bought all the things I wanted before. The only difference is that it will be two to three gallons more expensive during the day than at night but I will exchange for a few gallons. The opportunity to visit friends, I think it's worth it, Lane said easily. In view of the traces on the wand, Ryan and they put the wand together. However, the ring on their hands did not affect their spellcasting ability much, and Ryan also brought an additional wand that was seized from Knuckle Lane last time. Let me see where Harry is. Ryan sprinkled a handful of golden powder when she came to the street of Privet Drive, and then explained to Hermione next to it. This is a tracing mantra I found in the library. It works very well. The traces showed that Harry didn't seem to be at home, so the two chased out in the direction of the magical instructions. Why is Harry here? After seven or eight minutes, two people appeared outside a gated playground. As you can see from this street sign just now, this is Magnolia Crescent Street and Milan Road. The magic indicates that Harry's position is in this playground. Hermione said something strange when she saw the locked door. I'm in a bad mood and want to be alone, just like you were hiding in the women's toilet after you got angry in the first grade. Um Ryan hadn't finished speaking, and Hermione choked her arm to the next words blocked back. The next two people cleanly overturned the fence and fell into the playground. The playground was not big, and soon they found their goal. He's there. Ryan saw Harry's position just a few steps away. After all, the playground is now closed and there are few people. Despite the dim light, the boy with messy hair and round framed glasses could still be seen sitting on a swing. One of his arms was holding an iron chain, and he looked at the ground with sad eyes, shaking it slowly for a moment. Dot. As I guess, this terrible life made his scars seem to hurt more often. Hermione watched Harry from time to time reaching out to rub the scar on his forehead. Let's go. Ryan took Hermione to the direction of the swing, and at the same time deliberately made a tapping sound on the sand and stone road. Hearing this sound, Harry quickly raised his head, and then showed a surprised expression. Ryan, Hermione, why are you here? Harry was full of warm joy. He didn't expect a friend to come to see him after he had been separated from the world for a month. Now he sent him to lose his friend. The chocolate of the Duke of Honey as a biological birthday gift is a bit guilty. Good evening, Harry. We've been thinking about it before, but it was only after these two days that we found a chance. Ryan demonstrated his role as an alchemist, so members of the Phoenix Society lifted his access to miners. We two of them secretly slipped out to see you under the pretext of purchasing alchemy materials. Ron and Ginny also wanted to come, but unfortunately they didn't have enough excuses, and now they can't get out. What is the Phoenix Society you're talking about? Harry's face was confused. This is a secret society. Hermione said quickly, Dumbledore is responsible for it and he created it. They were all made with a mysterious person last time. Some people who are fighting. Now the two of us live in the headquarters of the Phoenix Society, but because of the secret magic, we cannot tell you the specific situation of the headquarters. Sounds like you are busy too. It may have been found that the friends did not forget themselves but tried to come to see him, so Harry felt that his breath had been dissipated for more than a month and his tone seemed relatively calm. But he still wanted to ask one thing he had always cared about. Then why am I stuck at Dursley's house for a month without receiving any news? Obviously I am an intimate person of those things, but I seem to be quarantined. Do you know, I picked it up from the trash bin for four weeks, reading the newspaper, just to find out what the situation is like. 
Harry said more and more excited, and Hermione wanted to persuade, but she seemed at a loss. Ryan saw this situation and stepped forward to interrupt Harry's chatter. I think Dumbledore isolated you for your own reasons. What? Harry paused there and looked at Ryan with an incredible look. Because of me? Is there something wrong with me? Your biggest problem is that there is a soul connection with a mysterious person. Last semester you even said that you can see what the mysterious person is doing. Ryan said seriously. Is there anything wrong with this? Harry looked puzzled. At this time, President Dumbledore should need me more. Maybe I can help him expose the mysterious man's conspiracy. But you need to know, Harry. Hermione added at this time. In the magic world, the spiritual connection between the two is very mysterious. And the initiative of this connection is often in the hands of the stronger party. Imho, I think your power is not as good as the mysterious person. I'm not arrogant to that point yet. Harry whispered softly. So you mean, Principal Dumbledore blocked my source because he was worried that Voldemort could see what the Order of the Phoenix was doing through my eyes? Ryan and Hermione nodded at the same time and Harry looked downcast. Okay www.mtlnovel.com I can understand it. Then he looked up at Ryan and asked them angrily. If I knew it, I would definitely ask for isolation. But why Dumbledore refused to tell me all this? We don't know much about this. Lane shrugged. I guess Dumbledore might want to do all the things alone, so he doesn't want you to know too much of this kind of bad thing. Old people always look like this when facing their younger generations, regardless of the children's choice they arranged everything. We just didn't think this was right, so we came to see you. Well, it's very possible to do this according to Dumbledore's habits. Harry relieved a pimple in his heart. In the next ten minutes, he started to chat with Ryan and Hermione. The main question is what the two of them have been doing during the recent period, and they express their envy for this kind of life. Until the voices of others interrupted their chats outside, Harry could see a group of figures walking through the playground through the light of the street lights. One of them hummed a vulgar song, and the others ha ha laugh. There was also a slight tinting sound which was the sound of several expensive cars they pushed away. Harry knew who those people were. The leading one is undoubtedly his cousin Darley de Silly, who is being accompanied by his gang of fox friends to the house, which also means that time is almost nine o'clock. Okay, I think you should leave too. Harry looked at Ryan and Hermione and said, Central London is a distance away from this. It will be less convenient for you to go back later. I should go back too now. Chapter 381 Goodbye Dementors. Farewell to Harry. Ryan and they are going to the nearby subway station. Because it is difficult to find a taxi at night in a place far away from the city center, you have to rely on public transportation to return to the city center. Two people walked through the unmanned streets, holding hands. Today's weather is very good. The sky is full of stars, just like the gems set on the dark blue velvet curtain. These stars are so beautiful. Yeah, it looks like tomorrow is a good day. Ryan and Hermione walked on the street together and chatted with each other. A faint warm feeling filled the air. As they walked to the middle section of the Magnolia Road, suddenly, the dark blue night sky covered with stars suddenly became dark. The sounds around seemed quiet as if someone had turned down. The most important thing is that the two people feel that the surrounding temperature has dropped sharply just like in late autumn. This is Hermione raised her ring-worn hands cautiously, looking ready to release the patron saint. Dementor, don't be nervous, Lane said and pressed Hermione's hand down. Then he pulled out a silver net made of alchemy from his pocket. This is an upgraded version of the net that used to catch Dementors. As soon as he was ready, a huge silver stag sprang out of the path in front of him, and two antlers pierced the Dementor's heart. The Dementors were knocked back and forth again and again, with no weight like the darkness around them. The stag rushed forward. The Dementor flew to the side like a bat, and hurried away. Watching the Dementors are climbing fast, Ryan aimed at the escaped Dementors and threw them out of the net. The net quickly covered the two Dementors under the influence of magic. When Ryan rushed to the place where the net fell, he saw that the net had turned into a goose egg-sized dread crystal, and two Dementors the monster was trapped inside like an insect in amber. Dementors? How did they appear here? Also, they seem to have attacked Harry just now. Harry has nothing to do with him. This sudden incident made Hermione look a little flustered and she said a little bit, panic. Fortunately, the training still showed results. Soon she calmed down. We should now bring these two Dementors back to Sirius' parents' house, which is evidence anyway. It should be of great effect to give them to Professor Dumbledore. Since Harry can the release of the Guardian deity means that there should be nothing wrong with him. At this time, it should be better if we don't mix it up with the past. After finishing speaking, Hermione looked at Ryan. Very well. It seems that you have really matured and learned to think with reason. Ryan picked up the red crystal on the ground and pulled Hermione to continue toward the subway station, while saying, as for why this the two Dementors will be here, it can only be said that some people in the Ministry of Magic are in a state of mind and need to be educated. You can guess the reason why they appear here when you think about the news about Harry in the summer vacation newspaper this year. Now, no, Hermione's eyes widened. The Dementors are uncontrollable. Don't they worry about killing them? In those who are completely lost in the Ministry of Magic, Life is really not important. Even if this life belongs to the Saviour Harry, Lane said in a low tone. On the way after, 
The two were speechless, until they returned to Grimwald Place 12. Oh, you are finally back. It was Mrs. Weasley who opened the door, he said as he passed the corridor. Did you know? Harry just released a spell. The Ministry of Magic wanted to expel Harry on the grounds that he cast a patron saint's curse in front of a mole. Professor Dumbledore went to the Ministry of Magic, but Fogina the gang still bite Harry and was using magic illegally. In the end, he could only compromise to temporarily not fire Harry, but Harry still had to go to the Ministry of Magic for trial ten days later. Mrs. Weasley, I think I have important evidence about Harry here that needs to be handed over to Professor Dumbledore. Can you tell me where Professor Dumbledore is now? Lane said to Weasley in an urgent tone said the lady. What, you are not Mrs. Weasley looked at the two of them in surprise. Okay, Dumbledore was furious in the restaurant in the basement. Today, this incident was completely caused by Mondungus leaving without authorization before the change of time. Came to the door of the kitchen in the basement. After Mrs. Weasley knocked on the door, the door opened. Dumbledore stood at the end of the table on the other side of the room his face very ugly. A shaggy chunky wizard shrunk in the corner with his head down, a look of frustration. It should be Mondungus Fletch who was in trouble today. Molly, what are you doing here? Dumbledore asked a little puzzled after seeing Mrs. Weasley knocking on the door. Ryan and Hermione are back and they say there is evidence of Harry's attack in their hands. After talking about Mrs. Weasley, Harry let the two of them into the kitchen. If you two have anything you want to say, just say it. Now our time is tight. After all, these things are very troublesome. Today Dumbledore's face softened a little at this time after hearing the news that Mrs. Weasley had just said. Some. We went out to practice today to visit our friends. Ryan began to tell roughly what they had done before and what they saw. It just omits the criticism of the principal. You mean that the two of you saw her using the patron saint curse to expel Dementors? Dumbledore did not care about Ryan's behavior when they slipped out to meet Harry, but asked at a critical point. Not just seeing. Ryan pulled his hand into his bag at this time. I also grabbed them with an alchemy prop. After that, I handed the goose egg sized dread crystal sealed with two Dementors. Oh, what's this? Dumbledore held his glasses his sharp eyes fixed on the two shadows in the crystal. Your alchemy product is very interesting, it can seal the Dementors, with these two Dementors as evidence, let me give the next thing, I think Harry will be fine. After he finished looking at Ryan and Hermione, I think you helped Harry and me a lot this time. Thank you very much. I now reflect on whether or not you should not be regarded as children www.mtlnovel. Com should I trust you more, was the restraint on you too tight? Dumbledore smiled softly at the two. Okay, you are tired of running so many roads tonight. Hurry and take a break. Although you lied before, this is out of precious friendship, so I forgive you. But you better go out again when I apologized to Mrs. Weasley, just before you didn't come back, she could have been worried about you, worrying that you might encounter an out of control dementor. After going out, Lane and Hermione seriously apologized to Mrs. Weasley. After all, what they did today made the elder worry about them anyway. Mrs. Weasley like Principal Dumbledore, did not pursue too much, she said to them on the stairs. It's wrong for you to run past without notice, but Harry did have a pitiful month, and it's nothing wrong for you to visit as a friend. It's just that you still have to say something like this in the future everyone worry about you. In fact, she always looked at Harry like her son, and was a little dissatisfied with Dumbledore's ban. But as an adult, she couldn't do anything like Ryan and they wantonly. So she wasn't too dissatisfied with this time Ryan and the two of them went to see Harry on the pretext of purchase. Farewell Mrs. Weasley came to the third floor, Ryan and Hermione went back to the room after a good night at the door of their respective rooms. After rinsing, Lion lay in bed and quietly thought about what happened today. He felt that Dumbledore would definitely give the Fargy group of the Ministry of Magic a beautiful counterattack. Chapter 382, Harry is here. Thank you for your evidence, I think Harry will be able to wash his charges. When Ryan came to the kitchen for breakfast the next day, he saw Sirius running as soon as he spread the jam on the bread. Thank him. Sirius has been very busy for a while and has been contacting those pureblood families in the hope that they can get closer in the next war, or at least remain neutral. After hearing about Harry's attack this morning, he rushed back from Marseille, France, and didn't even have breakfast to eat. No thanks, since Harry is my friend. I will definitely help him after this situation. For me, this is just a handy effort. Lane thought it was nothing. After eating a piece of bread filled with cranberry jam, Ryan asked Sirius who was sitting opposite and was eating a piece of bacon. By the way, after this kind of thing happened, I think Harry put it in his aunt's house is not very safe. After all, that group of people can release Dementors to prove that they have completely abandoned their bottom line. Something worse has happened. Dumbledore thought too. Sirius swallowed bacon in his mouth. These two days of Harry's security work are all double posts. We will take Harry directly after the manpower can be drawn in the past few days. That's good. I hope everything goes well in these two days. Ryan finished with milk. Mrs. Weasley's craftsmanship always makes people feel at home. After breakfast. Ryan returned to the small meeting room and study on the third floor, and saw Hermione the telling Ron and Ginny about her going to Harry last night. Oh, 
You should take me with this kind of thing. Will Harry feel that I don't think of him as a friend now? Ron said angrily after listening to the adventures of Hermione and Ryan yesterday. Hermione has explained it to you. I don't think Harry will blame us for this, Ginny said next to him. Besides, Ryan's taking one out is already the limit. Then take us both. Any one of them will arouse my mother's suspicion, so that no one can get out in the end. It seems that without Hermione, Ginny is now the intellectual of the trio. In this way, you don't have to worry about Harry and Ron's brainless death. Thinking about this Ryan pushed the door and went in. After seeing Ryan walking into the room, everyone's attention soon shifted to how Ryan caught the Dementor. When he heard that the cost was high, Ron made a regretful voice. For someone like him who doesn't use the Guardian curse for a while, he will definitely try it if there are other ways to fight the Dementors. After three days, Moody and they struggled with a team ready to pick up Harry, who could have used Ryan's strength as an escort, but unfortunately his broom flying ability dragged his hind legs. So it can only be ambushed as the last follow-up guards near Grimald Place. Do you think the mysterious man and his running dogs will suddenly rush out to attack Harry? Hermione passed an armed belt with a dagger on her and said, a little nervous in her tone. Ryan took the armed belt and hung it on his shoulder, then said in a relaxed tone, the probability is not, but this operation was arranged by Moody. He asked everyone to prepare for the worst. I think that's fine, everyone can get acquainted with how to fully mobilize. If you really encounter a problem, you won't be in a hurry. Farewell to Hermione, Ryan and Sirius wearing a black trench coat went out together to alert the surrounding neighborhoods. When the two walked to a hidden place on the street next to Grimo Square, Sirius took a closer look at Ryan's wand through the light of the nearby street lamp and said, you also have a spare wand without a trace. I when I was young, I also had one, which was sold from Knuckle Lane. I didn't spend any money. I got it from a guy who tried to rob me when I went to Knock Lane to buy materials. Good boy, good job. When I was as big as you, I didn't dare to deal with the scumbags in Upside Down Lane. Sirius laughed heartily, and then began to tell Ryan that he was young and Death Eaters even in his youth. Voldemort battle story and share his battle experience. Why haven't you come yet? It only took me an hour to get to Harry by car. They all flew for almost an hour and a half. Why haven't they arrived yet? After a long wait, Ryan pulled out a pocket watch from his arms. After looking at it, he was worried and said that he didn't think it was because of his own reasons that the butterfly effect caused Harry to attack them. Strange, they should have arrived 40 minutes ago. Sirius was also a little worried. Fortunately, at this time several shadows fell from the sky, and the street lights of Grimaud Plaza went out one by one. Seeing this scene Sirius finally put his heart down. Moody's they have arrived. Dumbledore lent his light extinguisher to Moody's. We have to stare at the square now and make sure they are not followed before they can go back. Naturally. Everything went smoothly this time when Harry moved. Ten minutes later Ryan and Sirius also returned to the room. The meeting is still going on, Sirius, hurry up and go to the meeting with me. Ryan, Harry, they are in the big room on the right side of the second floor. You can go up and find them. I'll call you when it's over. Come and open the door. Mrs. Weasley hurriedly told the two that Sirius immediately followed Mrs. Weasley to the kitchen, and Ryan went upstairs to find Harry and them. When Ryan walked into the big room, Hermione, Ginny, Ron and Harry were all inside. The house is now occupied by twins because they prefer to live together rather than in separate rooms. Ryan, you are back. Hermione said after seeing Ryan walking into the house, the others also looked at him. I'm back, and today everything is really going well. Lane said, looking at Harry. I'm really sorry, I was obviously near you that day. But I didn't help you find those two Dementors in advance. No, you have helped me a lot. Probably because of the fact that Ryan had visited him before. Harry looked good. It's enough to grab those two guys in the end. After all. Who would have thought that Dementors will appear in the Mull community? You and Hermione really don't need to apologize for this, at least because of your help, I don't need to worry too much about the Ministry's interrogation. Snap, snap, with two harsh bursts, Ron's two twin brothers Fred and George suddenly appeared in the center of the room, holding a small bunch of retractable ears in his hand. Harry, nice to meet you. They greeted Harry first. Mum is too careful. We tried to eavesdrop once with telescopic ears unsuccessfully. We always wanted to figure out what Snape was going to do. Isn't Ryan now almost the official member of the Order of the Phoenix? How can he not know? Harry asked puzzled www.mtlnovel.com but after all, he was not a formal member. Ryan replied somewhat depressedly. I have the same authority in this house as many members of the Order of the Phoenix, and I don't need to be restrained in this house. But apart from making something for them, I was not allowed to participate in their meetings. As Dumbledore said, the situation is not so good that we children are on the top. The only news I know is to judge from their needs that they may be more dangerous recently and need to do something to fight. Afterwards, the conversations of several people became easy. Although Harry also knew that the Prophet Daly had been arranging him since the summer vacation, but now he is not in a bad mood. He does not feel that these slanders can be used against him. What are the undesirable consequences? He feels that these articles can prove that the Ministry of Magic is already poor 
and he can only attack him with such a tricky method. Lin learned from the chat that Bill is now back in London with Furong, although Percy was not a member of the Order of the Phoenix. He helped everyone a lot. Dad thinks Percy is not brave enough to join the Phoenix directly, but neither our mother nor Professor Donald or thinks that it is most appropriate for him not to come over for the time being. Because this father is still a little angry, you don't need to wait talk about Percy in front of our father. Finally Jenny said, Of course, we think my father is a little stubborn. Her words just fell, and Mrs. Weasley appeared at the door of the bedroom. The meeting is over, now you can go downstairs for dinner. Harry, everyone is eager to see you. So everyone cleaned up and went downstairs to dinner. Chapter 383, Trial After everyone entered the kitchen in the basement, Sirius greeted and hugged Harry. While they were chatting with their godfather and son, Ryan took out plates, goblets and food from the pantry. Then he started to help Mrs. Weasley deal with these things. It turns out there is a whole set of the most exquisite silverware made by the 15th century goblin. But now it is gone, and it is all replaced by this kind of worthless thing, said only a crystal glass. So where did they go? Harry was a little curious. Ryan made all the precious silverware into arrows. Mongadense's tone was full of regret. I don't think it's a pity that the silver refined by the goblins can cause additional damage to various dark creatures with a little processing. With the braces with spring crossbows I made, everyone can be there. When I run away from these mysterious people, I feel more emboldened. I think this is more valuable than some simple wine glasses, Ryan retorted. Mrs. Weasley moved quickly, and within half an hour, all the dishes were already steaming and placed on the table. After the meal, the atmosphere of the restaurant is also very active. Everyone is talking about these not very heavy topics. Fudge, they will definitely use Harry to use the guardian curse in front of Mile to bring him to court. After all, for the gang, this opportunity to hit Dumbledore by the way, they will never let it go. Dot. But this time, we can let them lift stones and hit their feet. Mr. Weasley's voice echoed in the kitchen. Article 7 of the law on the reasonable restriction of juvenile which is clearly states that magic can be used in front of Muzz under special circumstances. Those special circumstances include being a wizard himself or other wizards or Muzz present at the same time. When his life was threatened, Harry met two dementors this time, and the use of magic at this time was completely in accordance with the law. At the same time, thanks to Ryan who gave us the most powerful evidence. So why don't we make things clear now? Do we have to let Harry go to trial? Ginny said a little puzzled. Because those people can do the thing that releases the Dementors, then even worse things can be done. Lane replied, for Harry's safety. Professor Dumbledore decided to pay attention to this matter in everyone throw the evidence directly at the time of the incident and give Fudge and his team a hard blow. In a period of time, they will not have so much thought to deal with Harry. Speaking of which, Ryan turned his head to Harry. I'm sorry it might make you feel wronged, but, Lane hadn't explained yet and Harry stopped him with a smile. You don't need to explain this. If you can give the black hand a good lesson, it doesn't matter if I am wronged. After eating the last butter crumbs, Sirius was about to tell Harry what had happened recently. Mrs. Weasley began to rush people, and she thought the children were temporarily unfit to listen to these. Ryan stood up consciously, and Hermione followed Ryan out of the kitchen when she saw it. Aren't you curious about these things? Why did Mrs. Weasley say you left? Want me to say that you are the best of us, except Harry? Who knows that Phoenix is a secret? He went upstairs minutes asked. Not at all. On the one hand, sometimes I know that too many things that I shouldn't know will bring additional risks. On the other hand, I can probably guess what to tell Harry, such as the recent situation, or mystery, what people are doing recently. But I can probably guess these, so there is no need to listen again. You know what the mysterious man is doing. Hermione looked at Ryan in disbelief. Don't tell me that your brain is connected to that person like Harry. It has nothing to do with magic. Ryan said as he pushed the door into a small living room. The two of them now live in a suite, each of them has a single room, and at the same time there is a shared small living room. Ryan continued after sitting down on the coffee table in the small living room. You know that in the last war, the mysterious people killed a lot of opposition and even Muzz as soon as they came out. This time is completely different. He has been resurrected for a long time, but there is no accidental death. What makes the mysterious man and his men quiet for so long? I guess the only possibility is that the mysterious man is now looking for a way to avoid repeating the mistakes after summing up the reasons for the last failure. The thing he is looking for may be a weapon, it may be a certain a powerful spell may also be an important piece of information, Ryan explained. What's it going to be? Hermione pondered, holding her head in her hands. I don't know about this, and they shouldn't tell Harry such a specific situation. After that, there was silence in the room. In the silence, they heard Mrs. Weasley walking the corridor with twins and Ginny, in the middle of the sound. There were also three people shouting and yelling. Don't think too much. Ryan stood up and patted Hermione's shoulder gently. If you shouldn't deal with things, knowing it will only add trouble, 
If it should be ours, then we will always know. Heard Hermione nodded and said goodbye to Ryan and went back to the room. Ryan sat in the small living room for a few minutes and returned to his room to rest. After, everything returned to normal in the next few days. The only unusual thing that happened was the daily collective study time. Hermione urged him to do his homework angrily when he found that Harry had not written most of his homework. Hermione, I'm going to try next Thursday but we all know that you won this time www.mclenovel.com as long as you are in court. You just need to keep silent. What? So it's best to write your homework before the trial. After all, this year is the year of the OWL's exam. We need to hurry up and study. Harry was a little depressed after listening, and writing homework was not a comfortable thing. But he was also happy that his friends believed that he would be fine. So under everyone's urging, he could only take out his homework and start writing. Fortunately, when writing, everyone here can provide him with some help making him more efficient than Dursley's. The time came on Thursday, when Ryan got up and went downstairs, he just saw Harry walking with Mr. Weasley and Sirius from the kitchen to the door. Good luck, you will be fine. Lane stood on the stairs and shouted to Harry. Harry returned with a grin. Mrs. Weasley in the kitchen also looked a little nervous. Although she knew that Harry would basically have no problems this time, she would still think of some bad things to scare herself. Ryan happened to see other people also coming downstairs at breakfast, and they felt a little regret that they did not send Harry. After eating breakfast, the atmosphere in the house was a bit tense. So instead of going upstairs to do something as usual, they gathered together in the restaurant with a book. When the pointer of the clock in the living room moved to ten o'clock in the morning, the doorbell finally rang again. Soon, Harry appeared in the kitchen with a smile. As expected, Harry won the trial. Chapter 384 the holiday is over. When everyone knew from Harry's mouth that he was all right, everyone seemed very happy. Afterwards, several people gathered around Harry to ask about the details of the previous trial. When talking about the trial process, Harry said something that everyone could not believe. When Fudge asked Harry why he should use magic in Mull, Dumbledore released the two Dementors directly, and then with the help of the magic chosen by the grand jury representative, the two Dementors began. Release what they saw before in flashback form. The first scene is a picture of two Dementors being arrested after a flash of silver, followed by a picture of attacking Harry and Dudley, and then a picture of them on their way. But when someone instructed them to go to the Xiohuagin district, a cat patron saint completely wiped out the two Dementors. That's the most important courtroom of the Ministry of Magic. How could anyone dare to destroy evidence in public in that place? Hermione couldn't believe it, but things did happen. Harry also looked indignant. A woman named Umbridge who looks like a pink toad, released the patron saint curse and then wiped out the Dementors when everyone did not respond. Then she excused herself on the grounds that she was out of control. Even though Miss Burns was very angry, Fudge only imposed a fine of 100 gallons on that man, which was simply Harry shook his head in anger. This is to destroy the evidence, maybe she was the Dementor. Ron said aside, everyone in the kitchen nodded in agreement. Okay, what happened next? Ginny looked at Harry and asked. The next thing is very simple, even if the two Dementors are gone. But the content shown before is enough to wash out all the crimes for me, and the natural jury almost agreed to be innocent. I can see that at that time, Fudge's face was very ugly. Although you all knew that I would be fine, everyone seemed relieved. Harry finally said with a smile. Mrs. Weasley also showed a relieved expression at this time. Sirius and Arthur Weasley were discussing the scene where Malfoy and Fudge met privately. You go to the vomiting toilet in Bisner Green, I will tell Professor Dumbledore this news. Sirius said on the shoulder of Mr. Weasley. Okay, then I'm past, Molly. I will probably come back later. I'm going to replace Tunks, but Kingsley may come over for dinner. Mr. Weasley said as he hung his robe over his arm and set off too. The next lunchtime everyone had a good appetite. Everyone ate a lot of roast chicken and a large portion of mashed potatoes. In the next few days, they returned to their daily lives. During this time, Sirius has been looking for opportunities to make up for the fatherly love he should give Harry and he promised Harry that he would go to Hogsmeade to see Harry next Hogsmeade day. This counterattack was very beautiful. Ryan listened carefully to everyone's comments when he went shopping in Diagon Alley several times. It was found that most wizards believed that the Ministry of Magic had an unshirkable responsibility no matter what, and Fudge's reputation was once again severely hit. For example, Ryan heard many ironic Fudge's jokes. As the holiday is about to end, everyone in this house starts to miss Hogwarts. Although this building is the anti Voldemort's general headquarters, it is different from the wartime military or general staff in Ryan's imagination. Although the members of the Wind Phoenix Club go in and out on a regular basis, sometimes they stay to eat, and sometimes they only stay for a few minutes and say a few private words. But it didn't seem so eager, there was no atmosphere in the wartime. And Mrs. Weasley also ensured that these miners did not hear any news about the status quo. Every member of the Order of the Phoenix believed that they did not need to know about the news about the confrontation. On the last day of the holiday, the book list and the opening notice were brought by the Owl which was later than usual. There was no difference before the start of school notice, and there were only two new books on the list, 
Standard Spells, Level 5 Inches by Miranda Gossack, and Theory of Magical Defense by Wilbert Slinker. In addition, there is an extra parchment and a metal badge in the envelope. After opening the parchment, Ryan knew that he was selected as the rank leader this year. Naturally, this was what he expected. As the champion of the top three competitions and the top three in the annual examination, he definitely has enough qualifications to be the class leader. This means they have finally found a new teacher in the black magic defense class. Hermione said that at this time the two were sitting in the small living room discussing the book list. Two gold and red metal badges with the capital letter P on them were placed side by side on the coffee table between the two. This year's position is definitely a focal point for the Ministry of Magic and Dumbledore's fight. Now I don't know who won between them. I hope it is Professor Dumbledore, otherwise this year's exam of black magic defense will be absolutely difficult. Hermione said her point, while Ryan kept silent. He felt that Dumbledore made a concession to show his own temper to unite some of the Ministry of Magic in the case of a victory. S choice. This also means that there is a high possibility that the professor of the black magic defense class is still a toad. Of course, the bad news is still not good. Don't you write a letter to your parents saying that you have become a class leader? Even if they are not wizards, they should be able to understand this matter. Hermione looked at Ryan and asked, if I remember correctly, they can answer international calls in Tankow's office. We can go out at 6 p.m. and go directly to the post office in London to call directly. At that time, they were at 10 a.m our parents. It must be in the office. The time spent in the magic world is a bit long. Many common senses are forgotten. It is obviously more convenient to write on the phone than to write a letter. It can also make things more clear. The two of you have become the rank leader? Of course this is what everyone expected. When they told others about the news at lunch, everyone else had such a look on their faces. www.mtlnovel.com The performance of Ryan and Hermione a few years ago has made everyone recognize them, and Harry did not show the kind of puzzlement that Ron had become the rank leader in the original text. Yes, Mom, our store has already paid dividends in the first month. We both took a part of the money to prepare gifts for the family members, so you can help others choose and we will pay. Fred is right at this time, Mrs. Weasley said. Can I have a broom? Ron asked quietly. At the end of the third semester, Sirius sent Ron an owl as compensation to make him lose his pet. So Ron felt that he lacked a broom now because he wanted to participate in the Quidditch team in the semester. Swipe. I want to join the college team this year. Looking at the twins' expressionless faces, Ron quickly explained. Of course, our dear brother. The twins' fierce faces smiled. I wanted to buy you a new set of textbooks, but now thinking about old textbooks doesn't affect your class, right? At about six o'clock, Ryan and Hermione went out to call their parents and did not return to 12 Grimald Place until about seven. Mrs. Weasley had just finished her dinner at this time, and by the way prepared a small celebration to celebrate Ryan and Hermione becoming commanders. After everything was normal, and a boggart might have been killed by Ryan's magic before. So everyone kept a happy mood to go back to bed. Tomorrow is going to school, the time is so fast, Ryan thought while lying on the bed. Chapter 385, On the Road When Ryan got up and packed up the next morning, he found a mess in the whole house. Mrs. Weasley was losing her temper, worrying that everyone might be slow to catch the train. The main problem is still with Moody, Hermione said. At this time Maddie is complaining that we can't go without Stogie Bodmo. Otherwise there will be one less guard. Guard? For whom? Ryan felt dizzy. It's for me, although I don't want it. Harry's helpless tone came from behind. I think Voldemort is lurking waiting for the moment, but Mad-Eye seems to think that he will jump out of a trash can and kill me. Finally, everything was finally smoothed out, and the guards who had come were also here. Everyone went outside in the weak sunshine of September, and today the weather is very good. It can be said that Kagao is refreshing, because the relationship with the Ministry of Magic was completely messed up. They could not borrow a car. So now everyone can only walk to King's Cross Station. Fortunately, this distance is not long. After walking for 20 minutes, they rushed to King's Cross Station. Everything was normal on the road. No major incidents occurred. Naturally, there was no sudden attack of the kind expected by Moody. Moody had arrived at the station at this time and helped everyone with luggage. He wore a porter's hat, which buckled low on his two asymmetric eyes, and all the luggage was stacked on the trolley he was pushing. Moody whispered that everyone was okay after approaching everyone and then limped through the arch with a trolley. Ryan and they followed to the platform of nine and three quarters. They moved the suitcases of the moody luggage one by one. When they were almost finished, Fred, George and Ginny arrived with Lupin. Fortunately, everything went well with them. After getting in the car and saying hello to Harry, Ryan took the luggage and walked to the front of the train with Hermione. Unlike the boxes they used to sit in the back, this time they had to go to the head car in the front of the train to receive instructions from the chairman of the boys and girls clubs, and then patrol the corridor from time to time coming to the front of the class coach. The two student union chairmen were already there. Ryan discovered that this year's chairman of the male student union was their acquaintance Cedric. Naturally, this change was welcome. When the train started, the commanders all came together one after another. In this year's new class, Ravenclaw is Anthony Goldstein and Padma Patil, 
and Slytherin is Malfoy and Pansy Parkinson. Hufflepuff is Ernie McMillan and Hannah Rabbit. After seeing Ryan and Hermione, Hannah came over to say hello to them, and said that she hoped that the content of this year's book club would be close to the O.W.L.S. exam. This year's focus must be this. Hermione whispered comfortingly. I spent half of the summer vacation to organize the information about the O.W.L.S. exam, and I plan to share it in the book club after the school starts. After chatting for a few days, everyone was there. The two presidents of the student union gave some information about the Hogwarts student union to the newly elected seniors this year, and began to arrange work directly. Ryan and Hermione were arranged in the second half of the carriage for inspection work. I heard that the heads of Slytherin and Ravenclaw have always visited the first half of the train, while the heads of Gryffindor and Hufflepuff have visited the second half of the train. Is this true? When he went out, Ryan asked Cedric a little gossip from Percy. It's true, because the board of directors of the school is at the front of the train and the majority of users are Slytherin students. In this case, since half a century ago, in order to avoid conflict, we will try to separate everyone. Cedric shrugged and said, Of course, I think that the so-called pedigrees of pure-blood wizards make them superior to a complete lie. I really don't understand why they conflict with others for this lie. After saying goodbye to Cedric, Lane started their tour. Seeing no one pay attention to them, Hermione approached Tryon and complained, Although I hate Malfoy. At least Malfoy is enough to become the head of Slytherin. But the full cow pansy Parkinson what is the rank leader? She is more stupid than a mountain monster with a concussion. Maybe Slytherin thinks pansy is more representative of their college girls. Ryan placated Hermione, who looked a little shaggy, with a joke. He could understand why Hermione was angry, and she was also a female senior in the fifth grade. No one should expect everyone to compare themselves to a rice bucket as soon as they thought about it. After dealing with several students playing with toothed frisbee in the corridor, Ryan and they came to the box where Harry and Ron were. After entering the box, he saw that everyone in the box seemed a little angry. What happened? Ryan took out and took a bite of their sandwich from Mrs. Weasley in the morning. Don't mention it, Malfoy just came here to provoke a bit, and then showed off that he is now the class leader. Ginny replied angrily. The other leader of Slytherin is Pansy, and they will be able to choose this kind of merchandise. Hermione also sat down and took a small crucible cake from the snack pile on the seat to eat. It's strange. Isn't the Malfoy family the core of Death Eaters? Why is he so active at this time, and he has the mind to provoke Harry? Because there are only five of them in the box, everyone can say something more confidential. Maybe his father is now allowed to kiss the robe of the mysterious man. He may feel that his good day is coming. Of course, it may be that his family and the Ministry of Magic have reached an unspeakable deal. Harry did not say did you see Lucius Malfoy and Foggy avoiding private conversations together? Ginny analyzed the wave rationally. Afterwards. Several people began to discuss the recent confrontation between Dumbledore and the Ministry of Magic. Everyone was a little worried that the candidates for the Black Magic Defense Technique class this year would be too powerful for the Ministry of Magic to intervene. As they talked, the train continued to travel north, and the weather was still changing. The raindrops knocked on the windows of the car one after another, and then the sun came out lazily, and soon the clouds drifted over and covered it again. As night fell, the lights in the compartment lighted up. After leaving school for a holiday, you read www.uukanzu.com. Everyone wants to see Hogwarts Castle early. But it was a night without the moon, and the windows of the car wet by rain were dirty, and they only saw a dark mass outside. We have to change our clothes. Hermione finally said, so everyone hurriedly opened the box and put on the school robe. Ryan and she put the captain badge on her chest carefully, and then nodded with satisfaction. Finally, the train slowly slowed down, and they heard a lot of noise in the surroundings, because everyone was busy gathering luggage and pets together, preparing to get off. After Ryan and Hermione and Harry had left, they hurried to the exit of the carriage to maintain order. When they got on the carriage, they realized that most of the students had left the platform. When it's raining, everyone is in a hurry to get on the carriage. Ryan sees Malfoy and his buddies, including Crab, Goyle and Pansy Parkinson, pushing a few timid second-year classmates aside, so that they can monopolize a carriage. Waterproof and moisture-proof. Ryan asked Hermione to find the car first. He wanted to say a few words by himself, but the carriage had already left when he was over the crowd. Ryan could only cast a rainproof spell on the few drenched Hufflepuffs. This quality, Hermione had found an empty carriage, and after Ryan got in the car, Hermione was a little dissatisfied with Malfoy's behavior just now. I must find a chance to sue him. He has been wearing the badge for less than three minutes, so he can use it to bully others. I support you at this point. And you can't let everyone think that Hogwarts's chief is this kind of thing. Lane agreed, because the two of them fell behind, there were not many people left. After waiting for a few minutes when no one got on, the carriage started walking towards Hogwarts. Chapter 386, Dinner. After the carriage moved, Hermione turned her gaze forward. As a result, she was surprised to see some animals standing between the empty rods. They look a bit like reptiles, and their heads look like dragons. They had no flesh at all. 
The black fur was tightly attached to the skeleton, and each bone was clearly visible. Eyes without pupils are white, staring intently. Battler wings grew out of the shoulder bones. I really don't understand that these carriages used to be able to walk on their own before. Why did they use these terrible black winged horses to pull them this year? Hermione told Ryan. She thought these animals looked a bit scary and didn't know why the school used them to pull carts for students. I think they should always be here. The reason you haven't seen them before is because they are Yi Chi, Ryan explained. Yi Chi, wait. I have an impression. Will people who have seen death see them? Hermione nodded, thoughtfully. I think it would be a good thing to see them in this situation now, at least in this respect. Be prepared. Unfortunately, there will be more and more little wizards who can see them in the future. When Chi Chi drove into Hogwarts and stopped in front of the castle, Lane and quickly jumped off the carriage and entered the hall. The hall was very warm, Ryan and they found Harry, Ron and Ginny sitting together in the middle of Gryffindor's table, and they sat down in the empty space opposite them. Ryan. I saw a strange creature in front of the carriage. But neither Ron nor Ginny saw it. Do you know what's going on? Ryan hurried over and asked as soon as he sat down. N. Hey Ginny also listened with her ears raised. Cedric didn't hang up last year. Ryan's first reaction was actually thinking of this, only to recall later that he slaughtered Crouch and Peter in front of Harry last year, and he had also seen death. So Ryan repeated what she had just told Hermione in the carriage. After helping Harkop, Ryan looked at the staff bench. Hagrid went to the Giants this year which can be seen without the extra-large chair on the staff bench. Other than that, the other professors are doing business as usual. The only newcomer was Umbridge, who was short and fat, with short-fisted grey-brown hair, and a very ugly pink bow tied with her plush stuffed robes. The pink cardigan matches well, but seriously, her age is really not suitable for this girlish style. Wearing a dark purple robe full of silver stars and a matching hat, Dumbledore sat on a golden high back chair next to her, tilting his head to Umbridge, and Umbridge was facing his ears speak. At this time, Professor Grapland came out from the small door behind the staff bench, walked to the end of the table, and sat on the seat where Hagrid was originally sitting. That said, the first year freshman must have crossed the lake to the castle. Sure enough, a few seconds later, the door to the hall opened, and a long line of seemingly shocked first year freshmen led into the auditorium by Professor McGonagall. Professor McGonagall had a stool in his hand and put an old wizard hat on it. The hat was patched and patched, and it was frayed with a wide crack beside the brim. The buzzing conversation in the auditorium gradually subsided. The first year freshmen lined up in front of the faculty desk, facing students in other grades. Professor McGonagall carefully placed the stool in front of them, and then stepped back. The teachers and students of the school were holding their breath and waiting. Then, the rip beside the brim opened like a mouth, and the branch hat sang this year's song. Dot. Oh, know the danger, read the signs and warn us from the lessons of history. Our Hogwarts is in danger. The enemies outside the school are watching. Our internal must be closely united, otherwise everything will collapse from within. Dot. The hat said nothing. Applause rang out, but there were whispers in between, because this year's branch cap song was unusual, and I usually only introduce the sources of the four colleges and the reasons for the branch. This time the branch cap directly warned that the students present had never encountered it before. Fortunately, the ghosts know something. Nick, who has no head, tells them that the branch hats will feel morally responsible for warning the school appropriately. This has happened in history, but it is not a good thing. Sign, the dark clouds crush the city. I only hope that this time I will die fewer people than before. Lane thought silently. At this time, Professor McGonagall made a list of first-year freshmen, and everyone's attention was quickly diverted, and the buzz in the auditorium stopped abruptly. Professor McGonagall frowned and glanced at the four tables, then looked down at the long parchment in his hand and declared the first name aloud. One Abercrombie. Slowly, the long first-year freshman team was shortened a little bit, and the four colleges had already accepted many freshmen. Finally, Rose Zella was divided into Hufflepuff. Professor McGonagall took the hat and the stool strode away, when Professor Dumbledore stood up to announce the start of the dinner. The dinner was still as plentiful as ever, and after dinner, Dumbledore began to arrange things as he did in previous years but Umbridge interrupted with a cough while speaking. Ryan observed her face only at this time. It can only be said that compared with the film, the film actors selected at that time were absolutely beautified. The real Umbridge has a pale, toad-like face and a pair of eyes with loose eyelids and protruding eyes. It is extremely uncomfortable after reading, and her voice was high, sharp, and with an air, like a little girl's voice, which further deepened her level of nausea, and her tone of treating all students as a five-year-old child attracted all the students' disgust but she didn't mind at all and began to recite a speech in a rigid tone. The Ministry of Magic has always believed that educating young wizards is a very important thing. Some of your innate talents, if not cultivated and exercised under careful and meticulous guidance www.mtlenovel.com may be fruitless. The ancient skills unique to the magic world must be passed down from generation to generation, otherwise they will disappear. This kind of non-nutritive word quickly made everyone lose interest, 
and the little wizard's attention began to gradually distract. Compared to the silent silence when Professor Dumbledore spoke, the auditorium is now noisier. Let us continue to advance, enter a new era of enlightenment, high efficiency and reasonableness, resolutely maintain what should be maintained, perfect what needs to be improved, and abandon those that we should prohibit. The long and boring speech after ten minutes finally ended. Dumbledore applauded politely, and the other teachers clapped a few times. Because most students are thinking a little bit differently, only a few people applaud. This guy is the one who destroyed the Dementors in front of a bunch of jury members. Harry said to Ryan, yeah. What did she just say? It sounds like a lot of nonsense to me. There is something very important hidden in nonsense, Ryan said. It seems that the lesson for the Ministry of Magic during the holiday is still not enough. Their goal is now to want to fight Dumbledore in an all-round way, and even extend their dirty hands to the school in. Harry and Ron had an unconscious expression, but Ryan was too late to explain to them. There was a collision of tables, chairs and benches around him. Apparently Dumbledore had announced the dissolution of the school's teachers and students because everyone stood up and left the auditorium. We should go to the first year freshman and we will see you later. Ryan then stood up with Hermione and started shouting, First year freshman, come here together. Harry and Ron saw that they were so busy, they could only temporarily abandon the root of the idea and shrug to the direction of Gryffindor Tower. Chapter 387, Day 1 After the opening banquet, Lane and Hermione began to greet the freshmen of Gryffindor together in front of them. The new lion cubs look very cute. But Ryan knows that as long as half a semester. These little guys will be naughty and headache. After shouting a few times to bring the freshmen together, Lane stood at the end of the line and watched them go upstairs. And Hermione walked in the front of the team, and led them to introduce some basic knowledge of the school. Freshmen are as curious as they were about everything in this castle, and ask questions about new things from time to time. It took more than ten minutes at the end before they finally managed to bring them to Gryffindor's common room. After discovering that Ryan was the champion of last year's Trop 3 competitions, these little guys started to ask him questions around him. It took a lot of time for Ryan to smooth them out. At this time he found what Harry and his roommates were discussing, and Hermione and Ginny were also listening with interest. How does it feel to be a celebrity? Hermione was amused when she saw Ryan look awkward. Oh, it's terrible. Ryan shook his head and quickly changed the subject. Oh, what are you talking about? We are talking about the profit daily that we have completely released at the end of last semester. Simo said excitedly. My mother thinks that Fudge didn't do anything after the ten Death Eaters escaped and even dared to say that everything is normal. This is ridiculous. Especially recently, some people have been allowed to be in front of the highest level trial members destroy the evidence directly, and the person who did this was only fined 100 gallons, and she felt that Fudge was crazy. You're right, buddy. Ron patted Simon's shoulder. And what's even crazier now is that the guy who made the killing in front of all the judges is now a professor of black magic defense. What? I will write to my mother now. They actually let a criminal act as a professor. Seymour jumped up to write. Hermione watched Simon running away and shook his head and said to Ryan, Now the public opinion tends to us, at least in Gryffindor. Everyone disagrees that Dumbledore described in the Daily Prophet is a lunatic and Harry is a disgusting arrogant man's lie. This is much better than before, Ryan thought. At least I didn't get the kind of betrayal in the novel. This is already a good start. When Ryan had breakfast the next morning, he found that he supported Professor Dumbledore more than he thought. Basically all Gryffindor, half Ravenclaw and the most half Hufflepuff chose to trust Professor Dumbledore and Harry and think that the Ministry of Magic is fooling under the leadership of Fudge, especially after knowing that the Professor of Black Magic defense technique selected by the Ministry of Magic this time is Umbridge who killed and killed in the court. Everyone is more determined. A little. But thinking about it now, the mysterious man's conspiracy has succeeded. Hermione was not optimistic. After all, she didn't know that if it weren't for the butterfly effect caused by Ryan, the situation of Harry and Dumbledore was much worse now. Dot. It's only half a year since the mysterious man came back. We have started fighting with each other. Hermione said unkindly, the warning of the branch hat is the same, unity. Listen, Hermione. Ryan interrupted what she said and dragged her into a corner of the auditorium. We are facing war now, and don't expect everyone to be able to stand with us. For example, those pure blood like lettering, who, as beneficiaries of pure blood, have been doomed from a basic standpoint we are enemies unless we are willing to completely confess to them as slaves. Hermione's mouth slightly opened, and she looked a little unbelievable about this cruel future where you might die, but in the end her eyes were firm, looking at the Slytherin table over the hall. One party must fall down completely, and even kill or be killed by their own hands. Is this a war? Yes, this is war. Ryan nodded slightly. Then Hermione was a little silent, even if she had experience in killing, but it was another matter facing acquaintances. But the magic world is so big, and there is only one school in the whole of Britain. This situation is inevitable. I think that those members of the Phoenix who were cruelly killed should be acquaintances with Death Eaters. Some things are better to know in advance than to prepare for it. This year is Ryan's OWL's year. According to Ryan's understanding, 
It is similar to his senior high school entrance examination. Every professor has repeatedly stressed the importance of this exam, with the exception of Professor Bins. A person whose death will not stop him from taking classes will naturally not be taken seriously by him for small exams. Like Snape, he took out a complex medicine, a moderator, for everyone in the first class. Fortunately, Ryan completed the task before the class, and let his crucible emerge a light, silvery white steam. But by the end of the class, the joy of successful configuration soon disappeared, because Snape arranged a paper up to 12 inches long, discussing the characteristics of Moonstone and its use in pharmaceuticals. Fortunately, I made a dictation pen in advance so that I can at least free my hands to do something else. After class, Ryan began to show off her new work to make Hermione happy. This seemed to work, at least by lunch, she basically returned to normal. Of course, Ryan thought it had something to do with taking Hermione to another world to meet the world. Sometimes some bottom lines can be broken countless times with only one breakthrough. In the afternoon, the arithmetic divination class started with two large papers, and the assignments left after the review were two large papers. This makes Ryan really have a sense of visual review of the third grade, especially when the paper is some mathematical calculations. The last lesson of Monday is the defense of black magic, which can be said to be a mess. Whether Umbridge comes on stage, everyone is required to answer collectively good afternoon. Professor Umbridge, or only allow everyone to read books and not everyone to practice www.mtlnovel.com What surprised Ryan the most is that Umbridge actually believes that as long as the theory is very solid, even if the spell is released for the first time during the exam the spell was successfully released. This guy has been completely fascinated by the desire for power, and he doesn't even have his mind. Ryan thought, he was recently refined by the fragment of Our Lady of Roses to refine this question card. Obviously all the knowledge is mastered but there are still various errors in actual operation. If knowledge is really what Umbridge said, as long as you know knowledge, you can operate. Although Harry was angry, he still remembered Dumbledore's instructions. So he used the fugitive Death Eaters as an excuse to criticize Umbridge's all good is a lie. The result was deducted very much. But Umbridge's approach also aroused the enemies of the class. Pacify humanity. Ryan saw Harry seem to be exploding, and quickly made the gesture under the table to launch the magic of life. The magic worked, and Harry calmed down like he was splashed with cold water then sat back without a word. This is also related to the fact that there were no dead people last year, making Harry's emotions on this less exciting. I repeat, all the claims that the outside world is no longer safe are nonsense. The Ministry of Magic guarantees that you will not be in danger from any dark wizard. If you still have doubts, please contact me after class. I am ready to help you at any time. I am your friend. Well, please continue to read the fifth page, Basics of Getting Started. The rest of the lesson was spent in the rustle of book flipping and Umbridge's bragging of the Ministry of Magic. After class, everyone left as soon as possible to pack up their things and didn't want to stay here even for a second. Chapter 388, Week 1. At dinner that night, the content of the debate in the class was gone. Everyone seemed to know what Umbridge did in class. Naturally, this also caused a lot of controversy. Ryan saw two Ravenclaw students in the corridor leading to the auditorium discussing the Ministry of Magic. I really don't know that the Ministry of Magic is telling lies. How could so many people believe it? Ha used his knife and fork to cut the steak on the plate like he was chopping umbrage. Some people have no brains, some people's chaotic situation is beneficial to them, and some people have to rely on the Ministry of Magic to eat. Lane shook his head and shrugged. So Harry, you don't need to be influenced by these words. We just need to unite those who are willing to stand on our side at least to keep them neutral. There is no need to be in those who are destined to not stand with us. There is no need to be angry about their attitudes when working hard. I feel much better listening to you. Thank you. I will try to stay calm in front of the toad in the future. Harry looked up and thanked Tryon. Besides that, the woman also wants others to be her agents. Hermione said, remember, she said if we heard anyone say that it was not safe enough outside, she wanted us to report to her. Ah. Those Slytherins will happily rush to the Toad's banner, Ron said with a fork between the mashed potatoes in front of him. Everyone's life will definitely be worse. It's clear, Ryan spread his hand. Of course she came here to spy on all of us, and at the same time nailed Hogwarts as a nail of fudge. This is already a clear-cut thing, and I think the first thing to do this is naturally to attract those students who are willing to get close to him to fight against Dumbledore. Otherwise, what fudge wants her to do? I think she will probably organize a small group as a temptation recently. Okay, please don't say anything. I just want to have dinner quietly now. Harry didn't want to hear this intricate relationship. Hurry to eat. There are a lot of homework to write after eating. Speaking of homework, I have to say that there are indeed many homework assignments by professors this year as O.W.L.S. Ryan feels that at least today's homework has already caught up with the usual three days. How can Dumbledore make this happen? Hermione suddenly shouted. Ryan was taken aback by the sound. The alchemy quill pen, which was fast writing on the parchment jumped forward on the sheepskin. A long diagonal line was drawn on the paper. He turned his gaze to Hermione and saw that she was angrily knocking on the armrest of the chair, 
and the stuffing inside leaked out of the hole. How can he let that terrible woman teach us what to do? And it was the year we took the 0.w.l's exam. This is a compromise, Ryan said with a wand tapping the parchment lightly to remove the scratch. After all, the summer vacation has given Fudge a head on blow. Dumbledore is a little worried that if we go further today, we will completely push the Ministry of Magic to the other side. We are already very nervous to face Voldemort. There is no need to make too many enemies. But now Fudge has no plans to compromise, and the principle seems to be miscalculated. Ron said a little uncomfortably. That's because our principle, like Minister Fudge, uses himself as a template to judge other people. Ginny said a bit meanly. Obviously, our Minister of Magic is full of moon dung feces in his mind and he thought that other people's brains are like fertilizer pits. This sentence made all the students around laugh, and it seems that most people did not take Fudge's rumors during the holidays as one thing. But seriously, our black magic defense class teacher is a pure consumable. It will be changed every year. We just need to survive this year, Ryan said, looking at a group of students around him. Well, hurry up and write your homework. There will be a lot of homework today. Snape's homework is really difficult, mainly because Ryan needs to pick out from his memory which knowledge he should have now. He felt that if the moonstone was used in making the fragment of Our Lady of the Rose, it would definitely be an accident. Instead, the paper on the history of magic about giant wars is relatively easy to write. As a person who already has two crowns, Ryan finds that he does have a great advantage in a comprehensive analysis of a war. The schoolwork burden was as heavy the next day and everyone reviewed the flying mantra in the mantra class. Professor Flavi drew the focus on this, arguing that there is a great chance of taking the exam. Naturally, a lot of homework is indispensable after class. Only Professor McDonagall was a good person. After Ryan once let the snail disappear, he was exempted from today's homework by the professor. But others didn't think so, because except for Lane, only Hermione was exempted from the assignment. The rest of us still have to practice this magic so that we can try them on the snails the next afternoon in the magical animal protection class. Hagrid hadn't returned, and wanted to contact the giants in Eastern Europe. I really don't understand why those guys were left after the victory. Ryan felt that at least the criminals with blood on their hands should be tried and punished according to the rules of killing people, not the murderers. Impunity even allows them to find opportunities to make a comeback. Professor Grapland's lecture is quite satisfactory. www.mclenovel.com For example, today I am talking about the tree protection pot in the syllabus. After using natural magic, Ryan can easily quiet the little guys who are assigned to this group and even let it coordinate yourself with Sampos. Then he, Hermione and Neville took advantage of this opportunity to quickly draw out the grass drawing of the tree guard. The last class was herbal medicine, and as everyone expected, Professor Sprout emphasized the importance of OWLs to them as soon as they were in class. Ryan sincerely hoped that the professors would stop talking about this especially now that he would think of a lot of work every time he heard such words. Especially the papers arranged by Professor Stroud at the end of class made him feel down now. It was still cold and wet on Friday morning, and Gryffindor started selecting the Quidditch team players this year under such circumstances. But today's selection was not smooth at the beginning. Slytherin's Quidditch team members and a group of students standing on the side of Umbridge sat in the stands, making a mocking voice to each Gryffindor player. In the stumbling, Ron was selected. This is not because he is the best but because other candidates are either inadequate or cannot concentrate on being Quidditch players. Only Ron can devote himself to the sport with the same level of assurance. Naturally he was selected. Congratulations Ron. Ron congratulated him when he came off the court. As far as he knows, Ron's condition is proportional to his emotions, so Ryan hopes that his support will make his mood a little better. A little. In short, this week's class time is finally over. Ryan silently hoped that this week was just the dismissal of professors. Wait until next week to get better. Although he thinks this is unlikely. Chapter 389, Changes in the Book Club. The time came to the Saturday of the first week of school, after a week of rain and rain. The sun finally came out. When Ryan and Hermione walked out of the request room after the practice, the sun was already hanging high in the sky. As they walked through the corridor, the sunlight shone through the gap between the corridors without glass so that they could not open their eyes. From these gaps, the treetops of the Forbidden Forest can be seen swaying gently in the breeze, letting fresh air blow to their faces. In short today is a good weather. Is there any news about us? Ryan asked as she watched Hermione grabbing a copy of the Daily Prophet. They had practiced for a long time in the morning, so now most people have finished lunch and go back to rest by the way. Only a few students are still sitting at the long table eating their lunch. Yes, Hermione pointed to a small article and handed it to Ryan. The article was less than an inch long. The title was a legal invasion of the Ministry of Magic. Stoogy Podmo, now 38 years old, lives at number 2 Jin Lion Hua Park in Clapham District. He was tried in Wisingama a few days ago and was charged with illegally invading the Ministry of Magic on August 31st and attempting to commit robbery. Podmore was captured by the Ministry of Magic guard Eric Munch, who found that he attempted to break through a first-level security door at 1 in the morning. Bodmo refused to defend himself 
and was convicted of two charges and was imprisoned for six months in his cabin. I have an impression of this person, Lane said in a low voice. The day we came to the school by train, he should be one of the guards escorting us to King's Cross Station but he didn't come to make Moody very unhappy. Then he should also be a member of the Order of the Phoenix. Hermione leaned over and said quietly, This means that the dispute between Fudge and Dumbledore has been heated up, and Fudge has completely torn his face and has no choice but to remove Dumbledore's people from the Ministry of Magic. It sounds terrible. Ryan took the bread and threw a piece of roast beef into his mouth after throwing the newspaper on the table. But these are what Dumbledore needs to worry about. What we need to do now is try not to cause them any more trouble. But it was time for the weekend and Ryan began to do something that was likely to cause trouble to Dumbledore. That is, the gathering of the book club started again. There are no freshmen participating in the book club this year, mainly because the situation is a bit worse this year, and even worse, someone withdrew. Main chose to quit because his family was an official of the Ministry of Magic, so he said it was not suitable to be too close to us. In the morning, he specially notified me about this with an owl and wrote a very formal farewell letter. Hermione looked angry that decides his head. As a child, he is very normal to draw a line with us under the influence of his family. You don't need to feel uncomfortable because of this, Lane told Hermione. Like Percy's letter from this week, Fudge asked everyone to make a thorough choice between him and Dumbledore. I hope Percy will be well. Hermione sighed when she heard the thought of Percy's letter here. Fuji has actually arranged their entire team to the most dangerous place just because they were dissatisfied with Fudge's practice and privately criticized a few words of whistleblowing. This is simply behavior. Fortunately, only one person chose to leave. At 7.30 in the afternoon, everyone else was there. When everyone gets together after a summer vacation, the first thing is to communicate with each other what they have done in the summer vacation. The next thing is to talk about the new black magic defense teaching professor. Why did the Ministry of Magic send the toad to the school? I think that this year our class will be abandoned, Celia complained. After all, you are only in the lower grades, and it is not a problem to waste the previous year. Those of us who have to face important exams are the worst. Justin seemed a little angry. Why would a senior official of the Ministry of Magic run this year? Come to be a professor. Because Professor Dumbledore told the truth, there was a great disagreement between Fudge and him. Krijang's voice rang. My mother received information from her Ministry of Magic friends that Fudge did not want us to do combat training because he was worried that Professor Dumbledore would organize his own secret force, and then he could use it to compete with the Ministry of Magic. If Dumbledore wants to control the Ministry of Magic, he doesn't need to organize his own army. He only needs one person to manage Fudge's running dogs. It's no wonder that after Fudge took office, the level of the Ministry's staff has plummeted. See if you can be beaten by yourself, Fred said leaning back in his chair. But it's a good thing for us. George hugged Fred's shoulder. Because they are bad, we can sell more defense suits. After he finished, he stood up and said to the other members, the Weasley Joke Shop now sells magic defense suits, which can defend against the level of coma spell. I can give you a 30% discount for each book club member. Okay, shut up. This isn't a place for you to sell merchandise. Hermione stood up and stopped the twins. I think our main task today is to make a good plan for this semester. The most important thing is the black magic defense class, Janku said. Anyway, I don't believe that after reading the book well, I will be able to release magic smoothly when I take the exam next year. I will also take the NEWT exam. This year it will be a deserted year. So let's practice ourselves in private, Hermione said. Anyway, we have a president who can flip the dragon head on. Last year Moody repeatedly praised Ryan for being comparable to Summerers. I want to use this level should teach us. After listening to Hermione's words, everyone nodded their heads in agreement. So Ryan announced that every meeting would take a certain amount of time to conduct a practical exercise on the contents of the Black Magic Defense exam and also teach some tips. Everyone looks forward to this. In short www.mtlnovel.com after the gathering of this semester is completed, the party will start the actual combat maneuvers. They chose the Iron Armor spell for the first spell this semester. Because everyone has learned the disarming spell before, Ryan found a very practical but safe spell for everyone to learn. The practice method is that one person attacks with a disarming spell, while the other person defends with an Iron Armor spell. At the beginning, the level of mastery of the Iron Armor curse was not high. From time to time, ones flew. However, after an hour of practice, many people have already mastered the armor spell and can use the armor spell prepared in advance to resist the attack of a disarming spell. Okay, everyone can practice this mantra privately. Wait until next week, I will make the next study plan according to everyone's progress. Watching the time is about to reach the curfew, Lane stopped everyone's practice and carefully advised. They must hurry back to their dorms, otherwise it will be troublesome to be caught by Filch. Yes, understood. We're okay. The following classmates answered verbally and Ryan nodded, if everyone has a good grasp, I can teach you some better results next week, spell, okay, see you next week, today's event was very successful, but think about it because it was caused by an incompetent professor of black magic defense, I felt a little uncomfortable, I really hope to have a better professor, to Gryfind or public as the lounge walked, 
Hermione raised her head and said to Ryan, Unfortunately, these are not something we can decide. What we can do now is to help some students who are willing to believe in us. Ryan sighed softly. In this situation change, the only thing he can choose is to help his surroundings as much as possible. Help the people to save their vitality for the future. Chapter 390 Conflict When Ryan and Hermione returned to the common room, they saw Ron flipping over a parchment letter, and Harry said something beside him. Who sent you the letter? Ryan asked curiously. Percy. He asked me and Harry to settle a little recently, try to be transparent in front of Umbridge, because he found that Foggy's ideas are getting more and more radical now, worrying that the two of us will be involved in this kind of storm. Clean up. Oh, he ran as a hero himself and is now being driven out of the office. He is now taking the risk of patrolling a place full of black wizards and evil creatures, but keeping his brother far away. Ron uttered a loud voice in disapproval. Ron, your brother is also good for you. Hermione said. At least he feels that you are still students and should enjoy campus life. And I think at least we can guarantee that there will be no chaos in this kind of thing, so that they don't have to worry about us and they have already helped them a lot. He's always right. This has been true since childhood. Ron shook his head helplessly. I admit that what he said makes sense. But I don't think it means I can't do anything in this regard. Okay, maybe you can do well, but you'd better get a complete plan instead of just talking about it now. Ryan poured cold water on his head in due course. I must be able to come up with a suitable solution. Ron and Harry started to write down his homework after they finished. They had not finished the paper by Professor Snape. No matter how ambitious they were before, they would not dare not finish the homework of the potion professor. The next morning the owl sent a new issue of the Prophet Daily. On the front page, a large photo of Dolores Umbridge was printed on the entire page. She smiled and blinked at them. The title was, The Ministry of Magic Seeks Educational Reform. Dolores Umbridge was appointed as the first senior investigator. Fuji is too ugly to eat. Ryan glanced at the contents of the newspaper. When he saw the benefits, he desperately extended his mouth to arch in the trough, and even some shameless people even stretched out their front hooves. What are you talking about? Harry asked with some doubt. In an interim operation last night, the Ministry of Magic passed a new degree that brought its control of the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft to an unprecedented level. For some time, the minister has become increasingly disturbed by the current status of Hogwarts. The teaching in this school has deviated from the right track, and even most parents are affected and do not know what is the correct teaching method. Hermione picked up the newspaper and read it aloud, attracting many people to read it. In recent weeks, Minister Connolly Fudge has not adopted the new law for the first time to implement improvements to the magic school. On August 30th, the Education Order No. 22 was passed not long ago to ensure that if the current principal cannot provide a candidate for a certain teaching position, the Ministry of Magic will recommend a suitable candidate. Dumbledore couldn't find anyone, and the minister appointed Umbridge. Needless to say, she immediately succeeded. What did she do right away? Harry asked with some surprise. Wait, it's not over yet, Hermione said flatly. The immediate success was a breakthrough in the Black Magic Defense class and timely feedback to the minister on the real situation of Hogwarts. The minister tried to control the decline in the so-called Hogwarts education level. This is an exciting new initiative in the situation plan. The investigator will have the right to review her faculty and colleagues to ensure that they all meet the standard. Professor Umbridge was awarded this position outside of his faculty. We it has a pleasure to tell everyone that she has accepted it. But why no one asks us and our parents' opinions? There was a voice from the surrounding people. My father wrote a letter yesterday and still worried that I might not pass the final exam. I think we and the parents might be represented. Ryan took another newspaper and read. These new measures from the Ministry of Magic have been enthusiastically supported by Hogwarts parents. Luke Su, 41. Mr. Smelford said in his Wiltshire mansion last night that many of us who care about the vital interests of our children have been worried about Dumbledore's eccentric decision-making in recent years, and now learn that the Ministry of Magic is paying close attention to this the situation is very gratifying. Disapproving boos rang around, especially after everyone discovered that the so-called parents were those of pure-blood aristocratic families. It's a pity they can't do anything as a student, and they disperse after venting their emotions. But when leaving, almost everyone was discussing what the newspaper would bring to the school. At the same time, in the principal's office, Fudge was announcing the appointment of Umbridge to Dumbledore. I won't accept it. Dumbledore's blue eyes sparkled with flames. Connolly, I think you should do some real things, like catching the ten jailbreaking Death Eaters, instead of, you must accept, this is the Ministry of Magic's decision. Fudge said toughly, the senior investigator is Dolores. Umbridge, Hogwarts is not your school alone. I have passed all before the school's directors and other directors of the school have accepted this decision so you must accept it. Otherwise, we need to consider changing the principal. Okay, she can hold this position, but it must not have any influence on the school's teaching. Otherwise I will drive her out without saying a word, Dumbledore said with anger. But I thank you. Before he finished, Fudge disappeared from the fireplace. In Hogwarts, like other schools in the region, the board of directors is the institution that holds the power of the school. 
and the principals are only their employees. As a white wizard with a bottom line, in the case that Fudge is not a black wizard, Dumbledore must also act according to the rules, and cannot rely on his own strength to directly set the table. The reason why Fudge was able to perform retrograde actions was also related to this point. This is how a gentleman can deceive him. www.mclnovel.com I hope that Fudge won't be able to get in the way. When Voldemort has returned, we can't stand the internal friction anymore. Principal Dumbledore, standing by the window, looked at the students on the playground and murmured, in the following days, things really went in a bad direction. Umbridge began investigating every professor trying to find a breakthrough that would make her stand up, but it seemed that her plan was not going well. Those professors don't see such garbage in their eyes. You didn't take this class before, did you? This was in the class of Professor Grapland who replaced Hagrid's magical biology class. Very correct, I'm glad you found this, Professor Grapland said, with his hands behind his back and tiptoe. I am a substitute teacher and temporarily replace Professor Hagrid. So you asked me before I really can't comment on other professors. Please stop asking me this question again and again. Professor Umbridge, who was choked by Professor Grabland, was speechless for a long time. Okay, just ask if you want, and by the way, you can tell me the answer you want me to answer, so that I don't answer what you want. Umbridge looked like a pig liver. Professor Grapland helplessly spread his hands. The students all laughed. When she took the class for Hagrid, everyone did not find the professor so humorous. You. You. You dare. So, you are not satisfied with every sentence I answered. I asked you to tell me what you are satisfied with. You refuse to say. I have only been to France for a few months before. Has it changed? Alas, it's hard to be a professor this year. The students laughed harder now, and even some Slyther and Pewblood wizards laughed. Chapter 391, Fraud. It's this kind of news again. Hermione threw the newspaper angrily on the table, which was written on the front page of the newspaper on the table. The veteran Grisilda Morkabans of Weisingama were suspected of being secret. The Collusion Goblin Subversion Group was ordered to suspend. In just two weeks, it was already the second pro Dumbledore Weisingama veteran who was suspended. It seems that Fudge has completely shameless for his rights. Ryan leaned in and looked at the newspaper. Say, unfortunately, Professor Dumbledore is a good person now, and he cannot retaliate back with reciprocity. When I read this book, I felt very stumped when I saw this section of Ryan. Now after personal experience, I found that the description in the book is still a lot of water. The real situation is worse than the description in the book. Dumbledore, who has the bottom line, suffers more in this struggle than the fudge who has no bottom line. If those people are death eaters, it is better to deal with them. It is impossible to use magic to convince. It is a pity that the enemy is a member of the Ministry of Magic, and Dumbledore, who must do everything by the rules, certainly cannot play the fudge who made those rules. Most people obviously support us. How dare Fugi dare to fight against everyone? who gave him the courage. Ron also came out with a newspaper at this time. Who can it be? Those pure-blooded families, Hermione said with her arms around her chest. After all, they control the Ministry of Magic. As supporters of the mysterious people, they must hope to add confusion to Dumbledore. It may just be them. I didn't expect that Foggy's desire for power would cause us so much trouble. I think I should find a way to trouble Umbridge so she doesn't stare at us all day. After the morning class, Lane told Hermione on the way back to the common room. It's a good idea. But do you have any specific ideas? Hermione asked to take a few steps here and walk side by side with Ryan. Give Umbridge a love that is not tolerated by the world. As far as I know, this kind of news spreads the fastest and is the most confusing. At this time, the two came to the portrait of the fat lady, Lane turning her head to Hermione, she told her plan. This method is a bit. Hermione's eyebrows were ruffled together. After crawling into the common room, she said, you are right, although the bottom line is lower. The effect should be the best. Not to mention that Fuji's group has even used the tricks of planting stolen goods, so don't blame us for taking an equivalent solution against them. Speaking of this, Hermione paused and then arrived. Now there is a problem. I don't know what kind of feelings for the wizards are unacceptable, and I am worried that in some ways the moral standards of the wizarding world are somewhat different from what we understand. This is simple. I know someone must know. Ryan showed an excited expression. Fred, George. Is there anything? The twins who were sitting on a table leaning against the corner of the common room raised their heads and asked what was being discussed in front of the notebook. That Ryan only found his question awkward when he walked in front of the twins, especially when asked in front of his girlfriend. But now that the matter is over, Ryan can only bite the bullet. I want to ask, what kind of feelings are unacceptable to a wizard? This, Fred and George glanced at each other, then smiled strangely. Did you suddenly discover that the two of you are brothers and sisters who have been separated for many years? No. It has nothing to do with us. Lane and Hermione replied in unison. Except this one. That's part of the interracial love, such as Hagrid's parents. But we have always been curious about what his parents are at this point. The twins looked at Hermione and shut up. Lane, who was on the internet for the rest of his life, immediately understood that Hermione was still blank, and then turned to ask Ryan. What is going on? 
What do they just mean? You haven't reached this age yet. I don't know if it's better, Lane said, touching Hermione's hair, and then looked at the twins. I guess the wizard should have a lot of potions and spells in this regard. Don't discuss this anymore. Is there anything else? Then we can't think of any more. The twins shrugged somewhat regretfully, as long as the gap between the two is not too big. The wizards are still very forgiving. For example, that Furong last year, don't look at some people vomiting her lineage, but that's just jealous. We heard Bill said that there are a lot of wizards in France over Furong Grandpa's envious drool. That's not a taboo unique to wizards. Ryan suddenly thought of the blind spot he had asked before. That would be too much. For example, if one of the two parties is married, this will definitely be despised. Another example is the relationship between a captain and a member of the Holyhead Harbin team last time. Allow, Holyhead Harpy team? That seems to be a pure women's team? Hermione asked puzzled. You said the captain and the team members? Hermione. Fred put his hands on his chest and leaned against the sofa. For the wizards, we are at most not recognized by the mainstream society for certain sexual orientations, but they are far from being morally destructive or even taboo. We are more open-minded than moles. Right. George also reacted. How did you find us today to ask this question? This is useful for us. Ryan and Hermione glanced at each other. Soon you will know why you are asking this. Maybe you will need your help at that time. Can you talk about your plan now? Hermione asked eagerly after saying goodbye to the twins. It's very simple. I will try to create some news that looks real. And then by the way some of the records will be spread out. Lane said this with a mysterious smile. No matter what Hermione asked after that, he refused to say specific plans. Just smiled and said after two days you will know. This must wait for me to be ready to start operation. Two days later, the herbal medicine class had just finished. And while there was no class in the back, Ryan took Hermione to the room where she asked. This is where the crown of Ravenclaw was hidden, but now a corner of this house is surrounded by a circle of wooden boards, and there is a door on the wooden boards. This is, opening the door Hermione found that the place surrounded by wooden boards looked very familiar www.mtlnovel.com The overall layout is like an office, but she can't remember where this is. This is what I arranged for Foggy's office in the photo, Ryan said, then we two will sacrifice a little bit and play Umbridge and Foggy to take some pictures, how to play, Hermione was excited at once, do we need to dress up, no need, a crisp female voice sounded, Hermione turned her head and saw Rose Crystal flying over holding a brass colored camera, my brother's newly made camera can automatically replace the people inside with the same person, for example, if you take a photo of the two of you kissing, the negative film will become Umbridge and Fudge kissing. That's fine. Hermione patted her chest gently, looking at Fudge's face. I can't stop talking. Yeah, that's why I invented this camera. Ryan shrugged. Do you think I can go to the mouth looking at the toad's face? The following afternoon, the two were at Rose Crystal's closer, closer, slightly coy, slightly wilder. Umbridge is not that kind of gentleman. This kind of order spend a moderate time. When all the photos were taken, both people's faces were red and bleeding. Fortunately, their efforts were not in vain. The six large film rolls taken this afternoon were very effective. If used well, it would be enough for Fuji and Umbridge, who were proud of the recent breeze. Chapter 392, Sing Back. Now how do we use these photos? The day after the photos were taken, Ryan washed the added photos, but Hermione started to look a little over a dozen selected photos. Headache. She felt that if an individual could not send a few words, she would be discovered by the old toad, and there was no way for many people to see it. I originally wanted to send it to Rita Skeet but it would be impossible to think about her character that was bullying and hardworking. It would be miserable in case of fire. Then I have to wait this Sunday. I want to discuss with the twins to see if these things can be put in the store. Weekend reading meeting. Everyone went all out to complete the question and answer in the shortest time, so as to spare more time for practical operation. It may be because the iron armor spell is more suitable for private practice and everyone has mastered the spell in only one week. Even Neville could successfully use this spell to block Hannah's disarming spell that he shot at him. So with everyone's applause, Ryan began to share the obstacle spell he just learned last year. Obstacle curse, can intercept any physical thing that attempts to attack you. We start from this. Ryan started to explain from the podium. Why don't we learn more enchanting spells, such as the coma spell? Justin asked with his hand raised. I heard Cedric say this magic is also the most commonly used by Ryan. Not only popular but also easy to use, because I think we really need to learn to protect ourselves when we fight. It is more important than attacking the enemy. After all, if you fail in one attack, you can choose the next opportunity to attack. Once the defense fails, there is a high probability that you will never have the opportunity to correct this error, Ryan said gently tapping his left hand with his wand. Of course, this does not mean that we only learn these. When you have a good grasp of these basics, I will naturally teach you more powerful spells, such as coma spells. After Ryan persuaded everyone. The practice of the obstacle spell began, with the success of learning the Iron Mantra, 
Everyone's progress is faster when learning new spells. When the party was about to end, there were already individuals who could use this spell. Very good, our practice is here today. Everyone can practice these spells, we will see you at the same time next week. After that, Ryan walked down the podium and stopped the twins who were about to leave with Hermione. Fred, George, we have something to ask you to then Ryan entrusted their plan and offer. Awesome, we didn't think of this way. We should pay the teeth to the rumors of fudge. Wait, this may not be rumors. At least I don't think Umbridge has the qualification to become magic. The deputy minister of the ministry, maybe she really came to power through this method. We are now exposing the truth. The twins raved about Ryan's claim. Don't you worry about affecting your business? Hermione asked cautiously. She felt that this business should be very important for the twin brothers who are relatively poor in money. Hermione, making money is really important. But we can give up making money for a just cause. Fred raised his eyebrows. Furthermore, Ryan is the majority shareholder. He has decided to lose money. What can we small shareholders do? George also added, but the smile on his face could tell him what he thought of Ryan. The plan is absolutely 100% approved. Then let us discuss a good way to spread these truths. The four men whispered quietly until the bell of curfew rang. They hurried back to the common room. There is a great thing. Three days later, the twins stopped Ryan after lunch in the foyer ready to go upstairs to rest for a while. There are magazines willing to post these photos on their books. What? Which magazine with a brain flooding would send this kind of thing? Don't they worry about Fudge's revenge? Ryan stared at the twins, his eyes full of disbelief. Ah, uh, it's really a magazine that might get water in my head. Fred showed a strange expression. We asked the clerk to put the photocopies of these photos as waste paper for the packaging and shock absorption of the products in the boxes of those products. As a result, on the second day after the shipment of the goods, Xenophilius Lovegood just come to the door, hoping to allow him to publish these photos in his magazine. Xenophilius Lovegood? The name sounds familiar, Ryan said with tapping on the back of his hand. He is the father of Luna Lovegood, a member of our book club. And he runs a magazine called Singing Opposition. George added, Of course, we know that there are not many valuable things in this magazine. Even they don't even have a manuscript fee. Those who submit to this book just want to see the book with their name. But anyway, this is all in a magazine. The photos posted on it are faster than the ones we publish separately. And our father thinks that this magazine is still a bit interesting, and there are not too few people who want to see this book. Finally Fred comforted Ryan. Okay, let him publish it now. Everyone is good for us now. In the end, Ryan made his own decision. Of course, this is the only choice. After all, they can't count on the Daily Prophet can put these photos on his own page. The fire has lighted up, let's see how Fudge has taken the trick. Ryan said in a whisper after the twins left, and at the same time, the corner of the mouth was drawn upward by an arc. Singing the contrary didn't send these photos immediately www.mtlnovel.com at another weekend party. Luna told the twin brothers that her father was waiting to post an article about the recent discovery of a snore after being questioned wonderful long article about the beast. Of course, that is a very important article, so your photos may have to wait for the next issue. The next period will be the next period. After hearing the news from the twins, Ryan spread his hands. Anyway, somebody is willing to send these things out isn't it? And as free things, we are not suitable for urging natural, so that the following days will be relatively calm. Nothing special happened except that Umbridge had been jumping up and down and insisted on making trouble in every professor's class. During this time, Ryan also adapted to Umbridge's black magic defense class. Umbridge came to Hogwarts to prevent the students here from mastering fighting skills. Naturally, they do not have any progress on the students' learning care. So as long as he has a black magic defense lesson recently, Ryan pretends to read books seriously, and actually calculates something in the sea after he enters shallow meditation. He told others about these methods, but unfortunately only Hermione can do the complete work in his mind, like the twins who just sat there and fell asleep after the test, and genius results after their test were even worse. There is simply no way to enter that kind of shallow meditation. It seems that this method must have enough magic power to support it. In such a daily routine, the first month after the semester passed, the first Hogsmeade day this semester is coming. Chapter 393 Hogsmeade. I heard that Harry hoped to set up a black magic defense learning group and extracurricular group under Ginny's suggestion. These days Ginny and Ron have been helping them. Unfortunately, I am busy with the book club and can only refuse. Hermione told Ryan while having breakfast on Hogsmeade day. Harry also looked for me, but I told him that I couldn't make time. Ryan felt a little sorry for Harry. Because according to his statistics, it was supposed to be D.A. Backburn Neville, Luna, twins or Hermione. They all refused Harry's invitation and most of them felt that there was no need to join two similar extracurricular groups, so they naturally chose to participate in the book club for several years. Of course, there are many reasons for their rejection. For example, Neville told Ryan that he was a little worried that their progress would be humiliating than that of Harry. In this case, 
he was more willing to practice the magic with these familiar people. I hope Harry won't be frustrated because some of our acquaintances refused him. After coming to the cold and sunny outdoor through Filch's inspection, Hermione said to Ryan beside him. Shouldn't it? Ryan shook his head and tried to drive away the strange psychological burden. There were not many people who supported Dumbledore this year and I should have recruited a lot of people as Harry. I am just a little worried about what Umbridge will do after knowing this kind of thing. If the photos have been sent now just come out, maybe Umbridge can be taken away. Okay, I don't want those anymore. It's already exhausting to be OWL's headmaster himself, not to mention that there are so many things to worry about. Let's take a rest today. After speaking, Hermione stopped. Lane's hand walked towards Hogsmeade. They walked along the road and passed the Joko joke shop. Fred and George were in there and they seemed to be discussing with Mr. Joko the grey hair. When they squeezed in, they heard the twins and Zoko discussing the store transfer. I'm willing to sell my shop. Zoko's voice looked a little old. When I built this shop, I was making money to bring joy to everyone. Unfortunately, after I got older, I didn't have the same inspiration as before. The same products produced day after day. I am also bored with things. So I am very happy to see you guys continue to bring joy to everyone for me. But my shop has been open for so long. I hope you can take care of me as an old man in terms of price. It also depends on the money to support the elderly. But why do we have to buy this property? Can't you rent it to us? Fred said a little depressed. We just started our business, although the prospects are good. But we can't afford your house at all. My shop must take over with the house. Zoo Oak was bitten to death. Because the weather in the UK is not good for my legs and feet, I plan to go to warm Greece to live my life after retirement, and will not return to the UK in the future. Ryan saw this scene and signaled Hermione to call the twins and soon the twins joined Ryan in an unobtrusive corner of the store. How much does Zoko's house cost? Ryan asked straight away. Have you just heard? Fred and George both looked a little ugly. He actually asked us to pay off 80,000 gallons in one breath. This is really too expensive. Hermione exclaimed in a low voice, even if according to the official price of Gulling Pavilion, it was equal to 400,000 pounds. In this era, it is already possible to buy a two-story house in the wealthy area of Manchester. But consider this is a thriving shop in one of the only two economic centers in the wizarding world of Britain, plus wizards basically do not charge real estate taxes. This price is also acceptable. It's not expensive, and it can even be said that Mr. Zoko gave us preferential treatment for our affinity with him. Fred and George looked a little frustrated. Unfortunately we can't afford this now. Just like this, even if I bought this suite and rent it to you, Lane said confidently. Just don't know if you have any safe means to make some magic jewelry, because I don't have so much cash on me. This you pay too much, the twins whispered, I always feel that we can do too little, it's okay, this money is not given to you in vain, the house is mine after I buy it, after graduation, I will live in the magic world, and I can't do without a house, Ryan comforted with a smile, this house is not free for us to use in our shop, even if we do business in partnership, you have to give me my rent, rest assured, I will charge the average rent on this street, thank you, the twins held Ryan's hand and said nothing, they knew what Ryan meant by taking out the money, I will give you things when I go back to school, but how to become Gallon will require you to do it. Ryan chose to cut into another topic to make the current atmosphere less stressful. You can rest assured, as long as it is jewelry, no matter what the origin, the goblins of Gulling Pavilion will replace them with Gialong. They don't care what these things represent behind. The twins patted their chests to ensure that everything will go smoothly. Wait, where did you promise that their jewels came from? After bidding farewell to the twins, Hermione asked quietly on the streets of Hogsmeade. Did you go to Zongta last time to get the fortune in Lonely Mountain? I didn't want that treasure but I found a way to get wealth for a long time, Lane said close to Hermione's ear, I may not have explained it to you in detail last time, in that world, I am the king of the valley, after mediating the relationship between dwarves and elves, my country can trade with both parties, in this case, I have a lot in the warehouse, with jewels from elves or dwarves, it's normal to take a small portion of it for investment, sounds great, but won't your wealth be obtained by squeezing the residents of the valley city, trust me, I won't do this kind of thing. I just bring advanced knowledge and technology there. Bring a better life for them. Naturally, there will be more of my share than in the past. That's good. Hermione nodded. Sure enough, her first reaction after knowing that Ryan had gained wealth by becoming a king was to care about whether the money came for justice, and this was also where Ryan liked her most. Her three views were positive anyway. Pig head bar? I really hope Harry can remember to bring their own cups. I have been interested in this place since I learned from Hagrid in the first grade, but Professor McGonagall feels that this place is really not suitable for students. Novel. Com Luna told me that their Dean Flitwick said it was actually quite safe. The only problem was that the hygiene was a bit worrying. In the three brooms, Lane and Hermione found a window seat and sat down. Through the glass they saw Harry, 
Ron and Ginny turned over from the side road. Among them, Harry and Ron also held a grey butter beer bottle in their hands. Looking at their expressions, they should have a successful meeting today. I only hope that Umbridge will not discover these, otherwise the guy will come up with some bad ideas, saying that even our book club will be bad together. Ryan looked Harry said with a smile on their three faces. It would be nice if we had seen all of our photos, so Umbridge would not have the time to spy on her toad head. After they returned to the castle today. Ryan first got a large bag of jewelry made by elves and gave them to the twins. Although the twins are a bit strange why Ryan has these things, Ryan directly said that this was given to me by my alchemy teacher, which dispelled all their doubts. This is also the first time the twins have heard Ryan talk about his teacher, but they can easily infer his teacher's level from Ryan's body. Then it is natural for a powerful alchemist to leave a large fortune to his disciples. Even in the eyes of most wizards, for some powerful alchemists. 10,000 gallons are no different from 100 gallons, also thanks to their brain supplement, so that Ryan can transfer part of his wealth to this world. It laid a foundation for the further transfer of wealth in the future. Chapter 394, Approve. Ryan felt very happy for the rest of the weekend, mainly because he couldn't afford a house in his last life and he could actually buy a commercial and residential dual-use house in the bustling business district. So Ryan, who was in a good mood began teaching coma spells to some of the faster learners at a book party. The difficulty of the spell added another layer, and no one learned the magic until the end of the party. Even Justin, who had been clamoring to learn more powerful magic before, shouted. But this good mood lasted only one day. When he got up to go to class the next day, he saw a large notice posted on the bulletin board in the Gryffindor common room, which was too big to cover everything else on the bulletin board. Senior investigator Hogwarts linked side disbanded all student organizations, associations, teams and clubs. It is hereby defined that organizations, associations, teams and clubs refer to the regular assembly of more than three students. A senior investigator, Professor Umbridge, can be requested for reorganization. Without the approval of senior investigators, no student organizations, associations, teams and clubs may exist. If a student is found to have formed or participated in any organization, association, team, or club without the approval of the senior investigator, get fired immediately. Ryan, what about our book club? At this time several Gryffindor members of the book club came together, and Neville asked Ryan directly. He really liked the organization that gave him a lot of help, and he didn't want to stop his activities because of this stupid education order. It's okay, I went to Umbridge to ask for a reorganization. After all, our organization has been for several years, and she has no reason to stop us. Ryan comforted Neville, who seemed a little flustered. Went to the restaurant to eat, Ryan found Harry. Ron and several students gathered to whisper. It seems that they are wondering if someone has whistled the umbrage with yesterday's meeting. In the history of magic, Harry suddenly inexplicably asked for leave and ran out, as if holding something in his hand. After the course, Harry stopped Ryan on the road. Ryan, there is something I want to ask you. What's the matter? Ryan asked when he came to a corner with few people. Do you need anything for my help? I can ask you, have you and the twins been searched when you sent your parcel to your shop? Harry asked staring at Ryan's eyes. Yes, Ryan nodded. Since three days ago, the shop staff found that the things we send were touched. So a few days ago, we all saved a new batch of mail to Hogsmeade to go to town it was sent by the post office. Did your mail also be searched? Ryan asked, pretending not to know. Not only that, they also hurt Hathaway. Harry looked angry, because Hathaway was already like him to his family. It was unacceptable to be injured in this situation. It can only be said that Umbridge and the Ministry of Magic on her behalf have completely blocked Hogwarts. In this case, they certainly will not let go of the fireplace. I personally recommend that you contact Sirius when they contact them. The Phoenix Society must not be exposed. Once these things are known by Fudge, it is not a good thing. I understand. Harry nodded, then whispered to Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Do you know of a place where 28 people can practice black magic defense without being discovered by the teachers? Just say you don't know that pink cold toad. Ryan smiled. You are wise. I guess your defense team will definitely not pass Umbridge's censorship. With her attitude towards you, even if you eat with a knife and fork, he can compose your violent lies. Don't gloat over. Harry looked a little unhappy. If it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'll ask the twins again. Don't say it. I really have such a place. Lane said slowly. On the eighth floor, there is a house called the Responsive House across the tapestry of Barbara, where the monster sticks and plays silly. It is sometimes absent, and only when a person really needs it. Can he enter? It just meets the needs of help seekers. Just concentrate on the venue you need, and walk through the wall three times, and a very smooth door will appear on the wall to enter the house of request. I heard Nick tell me when I was in the second grade, and every Saturday morning, as long as it was okay, I would practice fighting there with Hermione. The twins told us that the people who entered would not be marked, even if they saw it on their map. No one to see in. Thanks. Harry thanked very sincerely, I also wish you a smooth review of that toad today. Harry's blessings are very sincere but still let Ryan shudder. If you want to be in a room with a girl's voice pink toad, think about this kind of thing will be covered with goosebumps. But this matter is inevitable, 
So after the class in the afternoon, Lane went to Umbridge's office alone to prepare to get permission for club activities. Ten minutes later he appeared in Umbridge's office, bearing the discomfort in his heart and looking at Umbridge sitting across the table even if he had seen it in the movie before. But when he actually saw this pink office, he still had a strong discomfort in his heart. To tell the truth, this office is not ugly. It can be described as cute with plates decorated with kittens. But this style is really not suitable for a toad. If you can change a cute little girl to stay in it will be much more harmonious. Just as Lane thought of all kinds of things in his mind, Umbridge on the opposite face smiled and asked, Are you here to apply for your study club permission? Yes. Ryan nodded with a polite smile. Very good, I'm willing to help the motivated classmates. Umbridge said with a smile. Mr. Liang, what would you like to drink? Coffee, tea, or pumpkin juice? When she said each drink, she gently waved her wand, and the teacup or glass with the drink appeared on her desk. Thank you but I'm not thirsty for now. Ryan politely refused. I wish you could have a drink with me. Choose one. Umbridge's voice was raised slightly. Okay, then give me pumpkin juice. It seems that this drink is not acceptable today too. Umbridge stood up and added some honey to his back in a pretentious manner. Then she walked around the table with pumpkin juice, with a sinister and intimate smile on her face. Hey, you better drink them now. With 12 points of vigilance, Ryan found at the entrance of pumpkin juice that it contained ingredients that were not part of the drink www.mtlnovel.com I think it should have been added with Veritaserum. However, these things will not have any effect on Ryan's current alchemy level. After running the runes in my mind a little bit, the ingredients of these authentic agents are immediately decomposed. Watching as Ryan drank a whole drink, Umbridge showed a big smile. Okay, can you tell me what your reading club does? Mainly to be able to complete the homework of the professors and to better grasp the knowledge in the classroom. At the same time, I also know more people. I know that many of the members of the reading club and my parents are not wizards. Meet some local humans who do not discriminate against us. So what are you doing at a party at a book club recently? Complete the homework, endorse, write the thesis, and finish the homework assigned by the professors. That's all. Our party has always been like this. Then do you do something illegal? For example, learn some spells that you are not allowed to use. No, absolutely not. Every spell we practice is requested by professors such as Professor McGonagall's disappearance spell or something. Ryan shook his head and said, Very well, then I agree to the operation of the book club. Umbridge looked at the documents submitted by Ryan in the past. However, any additional members will be subject to my approval in the future. It's finally settled. Ryan thought when he walked out of the office door, it's really a person who does things by any means by actually using spitting agent. Chapter 395, Animal Defamation. Ryan got a little late the next morning, so when he walked into the restaurant, he was surprised to find that Umbridge, which must be here every morning, actually disappeared, but the table was black. What's going on? Ryan sat down and asked Neville next to him. What happened today? I think you look very excited. Look at this. Neville threw a thrill over the October issue singing the contrary. After unfolding, Ryan discovered that the cover was the one he had prepared through the door, which captured Foggy and Umbridge kissing. At that time, he and Hermione had been kissed by Rose Crystal more than ten times for this photo, and their lips were swollen. In addition, there is a row of red characters on the photo, Umbridge and Fudge's secret office romance. What does this mean? It should have been the previous photos, Ryan thought. No wonder Umbridge's seat was burned. Recently, the Ministry of Magic has certainly offended a group of people. They will take this opportunity to send a raw letter to the two parties to vent. Umbridge estimated that he ran away after receiving too many shouting letters. Of course, Umbridge's counterattack was also very quick. Before noon, huge notices filled the school not only on the college bulletin board, but also in the corridors and classrooms. The Hogwarts senior investigator ordered any student to be expelled immediately if he was found to be carrying the magazine singing the opposition. It seems that the Ministry of Magic does not understand how to fight public opinion at all. After reading these notices, Ryan said to Hermione, In this case, using expulsion to intimidate people from reading these news is actually the most stupid choice, because it will make people subconsciously think that these news are true, and no matter how they argue, no one will believe it. Dot and in the face of rumors, the harder it is to ban. The rumors will only spread faster and faster. So this time, we succeeded. For Hermione, who has always followed the rules, she was very excited to participate in such an event, and at the same time had a sense of inexplicable satisfaction. Yes, we succeeded. Ryan nodded and said, hope this will make the toad quieter. As they expected, by the end of the day, although Ryan hadn't even seen a corner of singing the opposition in the school, it seemed that the whole school knew about it. Whether in the hallway, in the classroom, or in the auditorium when eating. There were small talks about these photos everywhere. Hermione even told Ryan that even today there are people in the bathroom cubicle talking about these photos. The wizards are still too bored in their spare time. Our photos just add some fun to them. And I heard Percy say that Umbridge is also very popular in the Ministry of Magic. After these things are combined, it really doesn't matter whether it's in the photo or not. Everyone just needs this as a way to vent their emotions. 
Look, even if we don't care about this matter, it will get bigger and bigger. Finally, Ryan concluded, this is indeed the case. Judging from the Prophet Daily these days, Fudge can see that because of these photos, he has even violently erupted, and even a serious conflict has broken out in his family. According to some classmates who work in the Ministry of Magic, Fudge has lived in the office for several days. Do you know? My dad said that this magazine is very popular, he has printed two batches this week. Luna told everyone at the weekend reading party. He couldn't believe there was something more popular than the angled snoring beast. Perhaps because this news is as authentic as crooked snoring, so it can attract so many people. Ryan smiled at Hermione after speaking. There were also laughter from the Weasley brothers behind. Slightly fell behind after the photo event. At the strong request of Hermione, Ryan began to focus on guiding Hermione to animal defamation. Since last time Ryan privately demonstrated how to turn into a giant panda in the Sirius family's ancestral home on Grimald Place, Hermione had a strong interest in this magic. This transforming technique was summed up by Ryan after combining the magic of the transforming person in the Lord of the Rings with the natural magic of Ningfu. He found that he had mastered this animal transforming technique more powerful than Animagus. However, the same thing as Animax is that what kind of animal this magic is transformed cannot be chosen by the wizards themselves. For example, Animagus can only become an ordinary animal, and the animals transformed by this new deforming technique are much stronger than ordinary animals, and can even be regarded as some kind of magical creature. At least after Ryan became a panda, he found that his magical and physical defensive abilities were no different from giants, far more practical than most Animagus. Attention! The core of this magic is to awaken your inner spirit. Let your heart be connected with the whole nature and then conform to this feeling. Nature will give you a way to release the resonance between your inner soul and nature. Ryan was sitting on a stump at this time shouting to Hermione sitting in the magic circle. They are now in the forbidden forest, and today is the night of the full moon, and outdoors on the night of the full moon is also the most recommended metamorphosis day. Hermione, concentrate, follow the transformation process I taught you. Ryan pointed the magic circle under Hermione with a ringed finger. I will help you. This time it was twelve midnight, and a Kenya spell came out of Ryan's mouth. The indestructible fire contained in the ring slowly flowed out and enveloped Ryan's arm. With a swing of his arm, a lot of magical power spewed out of the body to light up the runes on the magic circle. If someone stands beside them at this time, they can see a very magical scene. Lane's first transformation. He saw Hermione emit light from the inside out to echo the moonlight. As the moonlight shone, Hermione began to tremble. At the same time, the muscles, skin, and even hair on the body are deformed and trembling at a high frequency. It looks like a slime. The whole body is rapidly deforming and softening, getting smaller and smaller. It feels different from my last time. I was swelling last time. Ryan thought of watching the rapidly deforming Hermione, but he didn't stop injecting natural magic power into the magic circle. This deformation process is extremely uncomfortable. www.mtlnovel.com It's as if every cell in the body is being needled. But Hermione still clenched her teeth and insisted that there was no sound, no matter how painful the body was. Transformation also quickly consumes the magic power in her body but no matter how much it is consumed, it is quickly supplemented by the magic circle under her. During this process, her body also changes rapidly. This is AI when looked at Hermione in front of her. The animal she seemed to be different from herself was not a very large animal. In the blink of an eye, Hermione's body completely changed, officially completing the first animal transformation. Her transformation process is very smooth. In theory, this kind of magic needs to possess the magic of an adult wizard and enough perception of nature to learn. As for Hermione's ability to do so, it may have something to do with her body being strengthened before. At the same time, because she has a solid foundation when learning this knowledge, she can release her inner spirit correctly. Now standing in front of Ryan is a relatively rare cat, which looks a bit like a leopard. But it is much smaller than a leopard, with black tufts standing playfully on the ears. Ryan, what have I become? Asked the cat in front of him with his mouth open. From this voice, you could hear Hermione's voice faintly, only slightly sharper. This is where this defamation is superior to Animagus. After being transformed into an animal, it can still speak in human language. I think you turned into a lynx. It looks pretty, Lane said with a smile. Chapter 396, Forest Conflict. Lying in the center of the magic circle sat up like a human, then put two paws in front of him, his eyes full of curiosity. Then he looked up at Ryan sitting on a stump. Ryan immediately intentionally turned into a mirror. It looks a bit fierce, Hermione said disappointedly after looking at herself in the mirror that Ryan had transformed. It doesn't look as cute as your panda. Well. This really, even if it is recognized in the two lifetimes in the world that there are not many more cute animals than these cute, otherwise, why do so many countries hope to introduce pandas? Dot. Actually, big cats like lynx are also very cute. Ryan can only persuade, okay, this transformation is important for strength improvement. Do you see what special place you have for this animal? The pandas I transformed at that time were very powerful, and at the same time they had strong defense. Well, let me see. Hermione began to feel her body. 
and soon she ran. Ryan was surprised to find that after a few minutes of adaptation, Hermione in the Lynx state ran extremely fast and had a strong maneuverability. It can even traverse a series of complex terrain quickly and quietly. But she didn't seem to adapt to the new changes in her body. She would bump into a place or fall from time to time. Let me practice for you. Ryan said that he took out a bamboo stick here, and then tied a bunch of colored feathers on it, then waved the bamboo stick according to the swordsmanship and began to fight with Hermione. Group. Of course, neither of them used all their strength to fight. Ryan actually helped Hermione begin to adapt to her body just as he was trained by Byron when he became a panda. After ten minutes, Hermione's movements have become more and more flexible, and he has adapted to his body step by step. This is also an advantage of Ryan's transforming technique, while communicating the success of natural transforming, he will also acquire various natures of being transformed into animals, and it takes only a short time to obtain all about this animal from this body. The memory, but also can master this body skillfully. After passing a series of tests, Ryan found that the lynx that Hermione became should be inferior to Ryan's panda in strength and defense, but it was far more flexible than panda in terms of maneuverability. If Lane had become a panda infantry before, then Hermione's lynx became an assassin. Okay, you are like a real lynx now, let's go around in the forest. Ryan stopped at this time, because after mastering the strength, it didn't make much sense to practice like this. Dot. After saying that he waved to Hermione to keep up, and then he became a panda and ran out first. Now that it has become an animal, it is good to run a lap in the wild at this time. Hermione hesitated and jumped out of the tree, then ran with Ryan. Feeling the power flowing in her body while running, she felt that her blood was burning and immersed in the joy of transforming success. What is that sound? After running for more than ten minutes, Hermione stopped suddenly. The ears began to turn constantly as if looking for something. What? Ryan also stopped. He knew that as a panda, he can't compare to those cats in hearing. It seems that some evil creatures that are not part of the Forbidden Forest are nearby. Hermione turned her head and looked at Ryan with her cat face. I heard the horses screaming, did something enter the Forbidden Forest? We can go and see, if there are any dangerous creatures, we will help the horsemen. Ryan waved his bare claws less like a bear. According to Hermione's guidance, it took the two men seven or eight minutes to finally find the place where the sounds were made. Heaven, werewolf. After bypassing a small hill, they finally saw what was there to make trouble. There were several werewolves rushing through the forest as if to attack, but each time they tried to get a bound arrow in the hands of the horsemen block it back. After they appeared on the edge of the battlefield, both the horsemen and the werewolf were stunned for a while, and soon they were again in the group. Only one horseman came to them. Fearns, do you need help? Ryan recognized the horseman who came over. Ryan, it's you, and you took that female companion when you last came to our village. Are you Animagus? After hearing Ryan from the voice, the young horseman put down the alert. No. We humans can transform into animals and we can recognize them quickly, but I didn't recognize you as a wizard when you didn't speak. Was this a natural transformation? But when the druidism disappeared then no one seemed to know this. I won't say this now. Frenzy's chatter interrupted by Ryan. He felt that few people in humans could keep up with the erratic thinking of horsemen. If Ferenc continued, it might not be clear until dawn that what happened today. Can you tell us what these werewolves are all about? We decided to help after hearing something wrong here. Thanks to the stars for meeting us. Flun smiled. Several wizards in black clothes broke in and injured the unicorn. We found out that the unicorn said that the wizard took a tube and took a tube of blood from it. So several of our teams started tracking the wizards, but they were stopped by these werewolves. Sorcerer? Ryan felt a little strange. The cursed unicorn blood is not unavailable on the black market. Because this kind of thing runs into the forbidden forest thousands of miles, it is not very reasonable. So what do we need to do? Hermione asked her own question bluntly. Want to help you deal with these werewolves? No, no. Fallon shook his head. These irrational beasts are not our opponents, just choose to hold us down. But the friend of the unicorn who was injured in front seems to have stopped some of the wizards. I hope you can help them. No problem. After that, Ryan and Hermione rushed out and rushed towards the place that Fearon pointed out. It took less than a few minutes to see three unicorns attacking around a wizard in black robe. But the sorcerer's heart draining curse or life spelling curse released from the wand from time to time prevents those unicorns from daring to get close, and can only release a white light attack from the corner far away. www.mtlnovel.com Come on, you these little lambs won't win me. They will only contribute more blood. The black robe wizard provoked loudly. This dress should be a death eater, Ryan said. When he looked at the black wizard with his head hidden, he could think of it as a good guy who can use the unforgivable spell and run to hurt the unicorn. Change back to human form and use the ring. The other party should be an old black wizard. Don't be merciful. Understood. After speaking, Hermione and Ryan returned to the human form together, and then hit the shadow blade at the same time. Two shadows were shot silently but quickly, and although the person had a slight deviation at the last moment, he was still left with two big mouths on his shoulders and waist by two magics. The black robe wizard was about to turn his head to fight back, 
and the shadow under him was manipulated by Ryan and came alive to entangle his legs and a blood red magic of Hermione hit him again, making him howl. In his struggle, his hood fell off, revealing a pale, twisted face. Dolohov, Ryan recognized the face at once, no need to breathe, he killed Mrs. Weasley's two older brothers. Hermione pursed her lips and then gestured with her hands on her chest. A light sphere wrapped in a shadow was fired at Dolohov, who the IU previously because of the sneak attack during the fight with the one corner, plus the successive strokes, so far Dolohov has not made any effective defense, let alone recognize the attacker. Chapter 397, Combat and After School Activities Ryan and Hermione would naturally not answer Dolohov's question, and it was probably clear that the guns would be turned over. So they just released magic attacks on Dolohov, especially Hermione, because they were fighting with the wizards of this world for the first time, so their spirits were always tight, and the attack magic on their hands did not stop. In such a dense spell, Dolohov could not do any effective defense at all. The battle ended in less than two minutes. After two rays hit Dolohov, Dolohov could not move forward. He is, is he dead? Hermione asked in a low voice. This battle made her a little bit uncomfortable. It felt different from the previous trials. This is the first enemy she killed in her own world, so naturally there are some different feelings in her heart. Yes, he is dead, Ryan said after using life magic to check. Happier. Think about how good Mrs. Weasley was to us both during the vacation, and this scum killed Mrs. Weasley's brother. Yes, Hermione's expression relaxed. At least if he lives, other people can't live. What we are doing today is to allow more people to live. After confirming that the Death Eater was dead, the leading unicorn lowered his head slightly to Ryan and left. Ryan habitually stepped forward to touch the body. Take this. Lane threw Dolohoff's wand to Hermione. Our wand has traces. You can use this later to dry. The Blackthorn Plum Wood with Snake Nerves is quite suitable for combat. What else is this? Hermione also quickly entered the state of collecting loot after the war. But I don't think there will be any good things. These Death Eaters just came out to get some unicorn blood, and they shouldn't take their possessions with them. You guessed it. Ryan finally found only a few coins from Dolohov. Okay, let us go, but before that we'd better clean it up so as not to cause trouble to the horses. After finishing his wave, he struck a beam of blood into the corpse on the ground, and the corpse immediately began to melt quickly and then turned into a blood-red liquid. The blood-red liquid looks more corrosive, and even the clothes corrode together when they get on the clothes. In the end everything disappeared, leaving only a pool of blood. From today's battle, it can be seen that the backbone of Death Eaters also has their strong place, because Ryan and Hermione mainly use the blood-burning curse and shadow blade in the battle, and the magic of blood-burning curse will be the blood of the hitter. Life and soul are ignited together. If the hit is too much, the human body feels no worse than being hit by the heart-drenching curse. In this case, Dolohov was still able to reach the last moment of the battle, even if his previous injury made his resistance weaker. However, it can also be seen from this that the core Death Eaters fighting will is indeed not bad, and the Phoenix Society was able to support it at that time. When they returned to the battlefield where the horsemen and the werewolves were fighting, they found that the werewolves had fled, and several horsemen were picking up the arrows. After telling them that the Dark Wizards had left, Ryan and Hermione went directly back to the school castle. Why did you say the Death Eaters came to attack the unicorn? Hermione asked thoughtfully as she went down the path in the jungle. Isn't that the mysterious man temporarily lurking because of the problems of the last resurrection? Why did he take the risk of sending the only few of his core Death Eaters with him to do this kind of thing? Maybe it's related to my last potion. Ryan thought for a moment, listened to Harry saying that the mysterious man's most primitive body was made of cursed unicorn blood mixed with Nagini's venom. He now may hope to obtain these raw materials to solve the problem. As for why not go to the black market to buy? It is estimated that because he is now a group of wanted criminals, it is too dangerous to make public appearances. Moreover, things like unicorn blood are compared. Strictly, it's easy to expose yourself if you do it well. Today's night tour ended like this. It was originally planned to take Hermione to run in the Forbidden Forest to get used to after a transformation. The result was somehow involved in a battle. But fortunately the final result was still successful kill a senior death eat week and Voldemort side, but it also made Ryan feel a little tired, and went back to bed after falling asleep, the days after seemed a little calm, and even a bit dead, because Umbridge's control of the school is getting stricter, in retaliation for the last time Umbridge vomited the real agent in a drink, Lane and the Hermitian took turns taking the stage to directly use the one-on-one -on -one fight to teach them the actual combat method after the book club members mastered the coma spell, this kind of feeling is not bad, but I think the Ministry of Magic must not want this, Janku said in an exercise. So I dare not tell everyone what I learned here, so I worry about affecting my mother who works in the Ministry of Magic. Learning these does take some risks in the current atmosphere. Ryan spread his palms. But I think this risk is worth it. After all, there are still ten Death Eaters wandering out there, and each of them is killing people. We learn some ways to fight at least to ensure that when we touch them, 
We can get enough time for yourself and your family to escape. Yes, you're right. That's it. That's why we stay here. Several students also made similar voices. They have no ability to catch those Death Eaters back. And we are not allowed to learn self-defense magic. What should we do with those murderers? Waiting for death? Hannah Abbott's final summary said the voice of everyone here. The club organized as a Gryffindor student is naturally the key target. But Lane arranged secret alchemy detectors at both ends of the corridor in advance and would sound an alarm whenever a stranger was detected. So Umbridge's two surprise inspections only saw people discussing the thesis assignments or practicing the disappearance spell with mice. I didn't see anything important. Very good, children. Please continue to practice. Umbridge closed the door, and after confirming that she left, Fred said a little depressed. Ah, these days are really choking. How is this old woman can it stand forever? Recently, except for the Prophet Daily, there have been news of attacks on him and Fudge. No way. Those Pewblood families would like to see Dumbledore leave. So Foggy who insists on fighting against Dumbledore will always be obscured there. Not to mention to them, a stained minister of magic could control. We are a bit miscalculated, Ryan said with a shrug. Like a legal organization, this is what it looks like, and Harry's side is even more difficult. Even if Ryan provided him with a very good venue, their organization was still difficult. For example, Harry found that it was almost impossible to fix D. A's rally one evening of the week because he had to avoid the training of three Quidditch teams, and they often changed due to weather conditions. This makes it difficult to notify everyone, and people from different colleges frequently cross the auditorium to talk, which is easily suspicious. Harry, I have something for you. On this day, Harry was called by Neville when he decided to leave the dormitory to inform others of the activity time next week. www.mtlnovel.com What? Harry was a little curious, because he couldn't figure out why Neville wanted to give him something. This is actually what Ryan asked me to give you. He feels that you must not send it directly to the bulletin board like we did when you notified, and the notifications are too easy to expose. So I made this for you. After talking, Neville took out a steel stamp with a dial to change the time. How to use this thing? Harry said after taking it. First drop a drop of blood to the handshake so that the props belong to you. Then you can give each participant a note after each event, with a Hogwarts school badge printed on the end of the handle. Listen after this sentence. Harry looked at the handle carefully and found that the end of the handle was flat with a Hogwarts school badge the size of a small fingertip. Then what? Harry asked. After confirming the next party time, you dial the dial at that time to print on one of the paper slips, and all the paper slips will show the same thing. Remember, each paper slip can only be displayed once Neville urged. Thank you so much. Harry put away the stamp. But it feels a bit complicated to use. Please. You are an underground organization. You should be safe first. Neville looked at Harry and said, Yeah, you are right. Harry showed a helpless expression. I really hope that the toad can get out quickly. Slash slash. Chapter 398, Match October ended in a violent storm, and November came. The cold was like iron, and every morning was a layer of frost. The cold wind cut the hands and cheeks. The sky and the ceiling of the auditorium turned pale blue and grey. The mountains round Hogwarts were covered with snow caps. The temperature in the castle dropped so much. Many students wear thick dragon leather gloves. Why do the wizards like to hold Quidditch games at this time? It's already cold enough on the ground, and it must be worse when flying in the air. Hermione rubbed her hands and complained as she walked towards Quidditch Stadium. Today is Gryffindor's first game, but Ron's nervous expression at the table is a bit uncomfortable. After sitting on the table beside the Quidditch Stadium, Ryan grabbed Hermione's hand and covered it with his own. At this time, Ginny also sat beside Hermione, her face uncomfortable. What's wrong Ginny? You don't seem to be in a good mood. Hermione asked enthusiastically. Don't mention it, my brother is really shameful. Seeing a friend willing to listen, Ginny immediately vomited her discomfort. I hugged Harry and Ron in the auditorium. Harry looked full of fighting spirit. My brother's hands were cold and even trembling. It was really shameful. Maybe it's just the first game that is a little too tight. Ryan comforted. You might get used to that environment after you play. The game began. Slytherin directly began to sing Weasley is our king. Obviously, this song was extremely destructive to Ron, who played nervously. Warrington's first attack successfully broke through the seemingly busy Ron's interception. The ghost fly ball flew from his armpit and went straight through. The goal ring in the middle. After losing four consecutive balls, Angelina finally pulled back one. But the more the game looked, the worse the situation. It wasn't until Harry finally caught the golden snitch that the first game ended with a Gryffindor victory. Of course. Crab hit Harry's back with a walking ball at the end of the game. Once again perfectly reflects the quality of this group of pure blood. After Malfoy insulted Weasley's mother, Harry, the twins and Malfoy fought together until Hochif talents separated them. These pure bloods are simply after learning what Malfoy said on the court and Umbridge and Foggy issued the education order number 25. He received all the punishments for Hogwarts students. Sanctions and deprivation of rights of the highest authority, and have the right to modify such punishment. Sanctions and deprivation of rights made by other teachers, 
and directly banned the twins from Harry after being banned. Hermione scolded them directly in the public lounge. I don't know if he scolded the pureblood families behind the Ministry of Magic or the Slytherins. Oh, sorry, I'm not talking about you here. Hermione saw Ginny standing by the side after the scolding. I understand that the pureblood of Slytherin all day said that our family is a shame in pureblood. But what they actually do is really destroying the reputation of the pureblood family. Ginny also looked right the Slytherin group was very angry. It's really unfair, Alia shook her head. What's the matter with Crab playing after a whistle? Did she ban him? No. Ginny emerged the word from her teeth, he was only fined for writing sentences, and I heard Monty eating dinner with a smile. The nasty toad. Fred was suspended without even doing it. Alia said angrily on her knees. It's not fair. It's not my fault that I didn't do it. Fred's face was very ugly. If the three of you don't stop me, I'm going to beat that little animal into a puree. Finally, because today's events made everyone feel bad, everyone in the common room went back to bed early. Only Ryan and Hermione were sitting in front of the fireplace with Harry. There is a saying in my hometown where the blessings lie and the disasters depend. After reading this sentence in Chinese, Ryan explained, This is a great philosopher more than 2,000 years ago. It is proposed that under certain conditions, good things and bad things can be transformed into each other. You are a bit unlucky now, but these bad luck cannot always be with you. Thank you for your comfort, I won't be so vulnerable. Harry patted Ryan's shoulder lightly. By the way, I didn't see Ron all afternoon. Where did he go? I think he's hiding from us, Hermione said. After all, he's on the court today just then. There was a crunch behind them, the fat lady turned away, and Ron crawled from the portrait hole came in. His face was very pale, with snowflakes on his head. Seeing three people sitting by the fire dumbfounded, after some inquiries, they learned that Ron ran for a walk as soon as the game was over and did not come back until now. And as soon as he saw Ryan, they shouted that they wanted to leave the team, because today's game hit him too much. Especially after Ron knew what happened when he left the field today, that sense of self-blame became more serious. Fortunately, at this time, Harry found Hagrid's hut lit again, so he took Ron to Hagrid. Ryan and Hermione stayed in the common room to prepare a plan for the next reading session. They didn't come back until late, and told Ryan and Hermione Hagrid that they had failed to contact the giant. This must be bad, Ryan said after hearing about the giant. Indeed, giants have a high magical defense power, and may be second only to giant dragons, and they are not fighting at a low level. They are a very difficult opponent. In the summer vacation, I heard Sirius said that Voldemort used giants in the last war. The problem is not here. Ryan raised a hand to prevent Hermione from continuing. The giants created many massacres about Muzz in the last war. What's worse, forgiveness at the principle of Dumbledore. Under the banner, many giants with many lives in their hands escaped the trial and lived freely outside. What's the matter? Hermione covered her mouth with her hands and looked at Ryan with surprised eyes. But, but I don't see anything in the data. This was done by Dumbledore. Lane lowered his voice and said, because Dumbledore said it is our fault that the giants have so few left now, it is the wizard who drove them to a distant place, they have no way to survive can only stay together www.mtlenovel.com as a result, they killed themselves a lot, so the principal opposed the killing of the last giants in Britain, so, what about the killed mulls, what did they do wrong, Hermione asked puzzled, they did nothing wrong, but unfortunately they lacked power, so in the eyes of the wizard is only a trivial number, lane corner of the mouth slightly upturned, in the eyes of some wizards, the dead muzz may be far less important than these endangered magical creatures. Even if these magical creatures are very brutal giants for the wizards, he can even let go of those that caused the massacre in Britain. Of the giant criminals. Okay, stop talking. Harry interrupted Ryan's speech. It's too late now. Everyone should take a rest. Lee knew that as Dumbledore's believer Harry recognized Dumbledore's everything. He could not accept Ryan's accusations against Dumbledore. However, before Dumbledore had been hiding a lot of things from him and his inner judgment about basic good and evil also made him unable to refute what Ryan said. In this case, he could only interrupt Ryan's words with a blunt method. Well, so good night. Several people said good night to each other and went to bed. But Lion, who was lying in bed, thinking about the massacre in the West by the summer giant at the end of the fifth grade in the original book, decided what to do. Thinking that he got up and quickly wrote a letter to the staff of the Weasley Joke Shop, and after confirming that there were no errors, he put in the envelope, prepare to mail it out on the next Hogsmeade day. Chapter 399, Plan. Hermione and Lane went to Hagrid the next day to persuade him not to surprise everyone during class. After all, Umbridge was in school and would find an excuse to get rid of teachers she thought were too close to Dumbledore. Dot, however, Hagrid believes that people with normal brains will not be willing to study the stingy and give up the camera. Of course, he doesn't have a camera beast now, not because he doesn't want to keep it but because he can't easily get the camera's egg. So after persuading Hagrid to fail, Hermione seemed very depressed. I think we can try to follow Hagrid to see what he has prepared. If it is too dangerous, he can't talk about the animal by other means, Lane suggested. Obviously, Hagrid didn't feel anything wrong with the monsters he raised, 
and naturally would not hide the whereabouts of the monsters. The next day Ryan saw Hagrid walking into the Forbidden Forest with a whole sheep in their break after lunch. Not far after he walked, Ryan and Hermione saw him stop at a clearing in the forest and put the sheep on the ground, then made a weird, sharp cry, echoing in the dark forest, like the whine of a giant bird. A few minutes later, several Yichi came out of the dark forest, looked at Hagrid for a few seconds with their white eyes without pupils, then lowered their heads and began to bite the dead sheep with fangs. It should be, um, not so dangerous, Hermione said, looking at Yi Chi tearing the lamb in the distance. They have been pulling school carriages for so many years and have not heard of any harm. At least it is much safer than the semi-wild eagle head horse with winged beasts. Yes, Ryan said, looking at Hagrid who hummed the song to feed Chi. I had planned to let animals go if they were too dangerous. But now it seems that the animals selected by Hagrid are not bad. Although Hagrid's selection of animals was not bad this time. He still received Umbridge's derogatory identification in class. Want to come to Hagrid and get the final evaluation will never be high. In this classroom investigation, Umbridge struggled to describe Hagrid as a low-witted monster, because of his giant lineage. Although because of Ryan's intervention, Hagrid's giant lineage was not exposed last semester. But Dumbledore's task for Hagrid this time also led Fudge and his team to guess this. Naturally, in this case, the problem of Hagrid's bloodline also became a weapon used by Fudge to deal with Dumbledore. Another disgusting pedigree. This was what Lane said to Neville and Hermione when she returned to the castle after class. Want to come to her when she wasn't a Death Eater but just couldn't find an organization. Don't you say that you opposed the principal's release of those British giants a few days ago? Harry, who came behind this time, heard Ryan's complaint and ran forward. I repeat, I am different from Umbridge's cow. She opposed the giants and opposed this lineage. She believed that as long as the creatures containing the giants' blood were rough and cruel garbage, they should be completely eliminated. And I opposed. It is excessively lenient to those giants who indiscriminately killed innocent people, and believes that any crime must be punished, whether he is a giant or a wizard. Ryan once again clarified his philosophy. That's it. Harry finally figured out Ryan's meaning. He thought Ryan was somewhat dissatisfied with Dumbledore. But now after hearing that, he thinks Ryan is at best cognizant of Deng's things. Bledo is divided, but the starting point was the same, so the little dissatisfaction before then disappeared. December brought more snow, and also brought avalanche-like homework to fifth graders. As Christmas nears, the directors of Ryan and Hermione are getting more and more heavy. They are responsible for supervising the decoration of the castle. Fortunately, since the last time Ryan trapped Pippi in an armor for a period of time, now Pippi sees Ryan and will choose to avoid it instead of running up. In addition to this, you must also tour the corridors with Argus Filch, because Filch suspects that there may be more fights during the festival. However, during this inspection, Ryan accidentally gained Filch's favor. His lady Loris had diarrhea, and Ryan volunteered to spend 15 minutes to make a potion to cure the cat. At the same time, through communication with this cat, Filch warned him of many mistakes he had in raising cats. Filch does like his cat but feeding it is not scientific. Otherwise, Mrs. Loris will not be as skinny as she is. A week after Ryan warned Filch, he even received a thank you letter from Filch and a large box of Duke of Honey's candies. Because after following Ryan's instructions, his cat became healthy at a speed that was visible to the naked eye this week, and his appearance looked rounded. You shouldn't cure that cat, Ron said after knowing how this box of candy came from. I always think that cat will sneak up on anyone, and you are your enemy. I think Ryan is right. Ginny held a different opinion. Filch is annoying. But the cat is not bad. It just listens to the master's orders. I think so too, Ryan said. What's more important is that the cat will naturally become lazy when it becomes fatter, so we are less likely to be caught by that cat in the future. Filch's heart and soul the baby is healthy and we have reduced the probability of being caught. Isn't this a win-win situation? Yeah, Harry reacted at this moment. I said why I saw the cat less frequently in the past two days. Now I want to come here because of Ryan's credit. The important thing of this day is to plan the Christmas besides decorating the castle. Hermione asked Ryan in the library that day, Ryan, where are you going on holiday? Well, I plan to go to Russia. Lane stopped and said, Russia, what are you going to do there? Our parents are all in heaven this year. I thought you would choose to stay in school. After hearing Hermione's question, Ryan waved her hand to signal Hermione to come over then whispered to her ear, isn't this the failure of a giant hydra? I plan to go to the giant alone to solve this problem. Since I have the ability now, then I will try my best to prevent the massacre of Muzz that happened a few decades ago. You are right, Dumbledore will definitely not accept your plan www.mplnovel.com Hermione is very smart, she knows what Ryan will do with a little thought. I will go with you too. Speaking of this, Hermione saw Ryan, who wanted to refute, put his palm up to him beckoning him to finish talking. As I said last time, when I face the danger again, I don't want you to be alone. Besides, I have been preparing in this direction for a long time, and I should have played. Okay, Lane thought about it and agreed to Hermione's request to follow him. On the one hand, Hermione is not at this point, 
at least when faced with one or two Death Eaters, retired himself. Such a comrade who is not low in combat can help a lot. On the other hand, Hermione's character is also the kind that will be devoted to the past once the direction is determined. And now that she has determined that she is going to fight, Ryan decides that she should not try to block it better. I'll ask Pinlo to do the ticket and formalities for you, too. Ryan said finally. Pinlo is now the manager of the joke shop, because she is the best of the many people she recruited last time, and she is more reliable. As a hemp wizard, she found out that the Ministry of Magic was not friendly to people of her origin and gave up her career at the Ministry of Magic. Of course. They declared to the outsiders that two people were going to go skiing abroad. This naturally aroused Harry's envy, but he soon no longer needed it, because Ron told him that Mrs. Weasley invited Harry to go to the burrow for Christmas together. In short, everyone is now looking forward to the Christmas holiday. Chapter 400, Departure, Yuck Runberg. The day before Christmas, Harry stayed late in the D.A activity room because he spent a lot of time chatting with Ginny after everyone left. Naturally, after he returned to the common room, he received a warning from Ron as his brother. Although Ron himself agreed that his sister was in love with him, she was still worried that Harry would bully Ginny. Naturally, Harry patted his chest and promised that he would not hurt Ginny anyway. It may be because today's success has kept Harry's brain in a state of hyperactivity, so it took him a long time to fall asleep after lying in bed for a long time. In his sleep, he dreamed of a scene where he guided everyone to practice in DA. However, it didn't take long for this kind of scene to appear, and dreams appeared unexpectedly. In the dream, Harry found his body became soft powerful and flexible, sliding across the dark, cold stones between the shiny metal fences. He leaned against the ground, gliding with his abdomen. The light was very dark, but he could see the light of the surrounding objects, some strange and vivid colors. Turned his head, he found a person sitting on the ground, his head hanging on his chest, his outline flashing in the dark. Harry felt that he was eager to bite this dozing person with his teeth, but there seemed to be a command in his heart to restrain him. But the person who was dozing was awakened, jumping up, a silver cloak slipped off his leg, Harry saw his bright, blurry silhouette standing in front of him, and a wand was pulled from the belt. He had no choice but to stand up and attack, but a strange barrier popped up on the man to block the blow. He launched the attack again, probably because the poison on his teeth was working just now, this time the barrier did not come out. His fangs severely crushed the man's magical defenses that he had hurriedly released, biting on the man's arm in front of him, feeling the arm bone cracked between his teeth, warm blood. Dot. The man yelled in pain. Then there was no sound. He collapsed at the foot of the wall. Venom worked. The blood dripped from his mouth to the ground. His forehead was terribly painful. It seemed to explode. Harry, Harry. He opened his eyes, soaked in cold sweat. The sheets were all wrapped around him, like tights. He felt a hot pliers stick in his forehead. His eyes were blurred with pain, but he had to tell Ron that it was crucial. Your father, Harry said breathlessly, his chest undulating. Your father. Something happened. He was bitten very serious, and there was blood everywhere. Harry, buddy, Ron doubted, you. You are just dreaming. No, Harry said violently, making Ron understand, it's not a dream, it's not normal dream. I'm there, I saw, I did it. The accident before Christmas made Harry and the Weasleys nervous and busy, but these things were not disclosed to others. So Hermione was a little curious on the Hogwarts Express back to London why he didn't see the Harry and Weasleys. I think they might have something to do with it. Lane comforted, at Christmas time. There will always be a lot of things that caught us off guard. There shouldn't be any major events. When getting off at King's Cross Railway Station, they saw the Christmas atmosphere. Here is very strong. A huge Christmas tree stood there in the hall of the train station, covered with sparkling decorations. Where should we go next? Hermione, who was pulling a small suitcase, asked, as a wizard, they could use the space equipment to put all the luggage in. But if you choose to travel with Miles, this kind of cross-border travel will seem strange if you don't bring any luggage at all. So each of them brought a small suitcase. Go directly to Heathrow Airport, and Penlo is there waiting for us with everything. Lane said and Hermione took the blue carriage of the Piccadilly Line subway directly at the train station to the airport's Route 4 station building. After more than an hour, the two rushed to their destination and happened to see Penlo waiting for them with a black bag in his hand. Your passport. Visa and air ticket are in it. Penlo handed the black bag to Ryan. In addition to this, there are all the materials you asked others to find before. I have checked that there is nothing missing. Finally, I wish you all a good time. How do you go back in the while? Hermione looked at Penlo and asked, The road to the city center is not near here. Of course it's a phantom, Penlo said. It's much more convenient than taking the subway or bus. I can go back to the joke shop later. I have to work overtime these two days. Business at Christmas great. I remember you can take a break after Christmas, Ryan said. Actually, we are very satisfied with the triple overtime pay plus bonus for Christmas. You need to know that other places can't offer such a high bonus. It happened that Percy was on Christmas duty arranged by Fudge. After the rest of the time to hang out with him. After finishing Pinlo to Ryan they left and left. It looks like she is quite satisfied with the job. Hermione looked at Pinlo's back and said, 
I can feel that she was just happy from the heart. A celebrity once said that employees are dissatisfied either because the money is not in place, or because they are wronged. I try to avoid these things that will make everyone dissatisfied, and now everyone seems to have high morale. The two began to pass the security check with their luggage. At four o'clock in the afternoon, the plane took off. This was a long trip, including the time of connecting in Moscow. They spent a total of eight and a half hours www.mtlnovel.com until 8.30 p.m. local time. They did not land at Koltsovo Airport in Yekaterinburg. His, so called Hermione shivered as soon as she left the cabin, even though her body had strengthened several times, she still felt a cold that had penetrated into the bone marrow. Put this on. Ryan put a coat on Hermione. This is the winter in Russia. You are not the first person planted here. There have been countless famous people who have planted here before. Well, I admit that I still underestimated it. Just like the Corsican or the Austrian. Hermione fastened the buttons of her coat. Let's hurry to the hotel. I'm cold and hungry now. After leaving the airport, the two took a taxi to the hotel that was booked in advance and rushed over. Fortunately, the language pack that Ryan obtained in the radiation world a few years ago was Russian. Before that, the language pack was sent to Hermione through soul transmission. Knowing Russian made them less troublesome along the way. After arriving at the hotel, the two men first packed their luggage and immediately called room service to let them bring their dinner. This time the two chose to live in the same double room, because this time they did not come to travel mainly to complete some tasks. In this case, it is best for the two to live together to avoid dispersal of power when they are attacked. Although this possibility is extremely small, it is better to be prepared. After dinner, they talked for a while and quickly fell asleep, because tomorrow is the beginning of a really hard journey. They must recuperate. Prepare to face everything tomorrow.